Let me have the whole of the gods. Bring it. <laughs> ah, yes. Uh -huh. My name is Legu after Bono no Bono, eh? The hollow of the gods has done its sacred duty once again, eh? Bring it down. <laughs> Father, you mean there is a new moon in the sky? Yes. <laughs> My son. Take the horror of the gods and keep it in its place. Wait till I return. Eh? Are you going out, father? Yes, my son. I have a sacred duty to perform tonight. <laughs> but, father, this is not the seventh moon of the year. Yes, my son. Ejogo. Eh? The duty tonight has nothing to do with the new yam rites. Anyway. I will explain when I get back. Eh? For now, do the calls. Hey! Mm-mm! Come <laughs>
wise one. Your Majesty, need I remind the Akabaji Lodge of Ngudo Kingdom that the peculiar message that brought the mouthpiece of the gods to the people's palace cannot be delivered without the presence of the object of it. <laughs> Obago, ignorance of the norms is not a disease for the leaders of the people, except they no longer enjoy the support of the gods. But in this case, the Akai Bajiroj and his able chiefs are fully aware of what is required, even without the prompting of the gods. We were just waiting for you to arrive first. Oh, yes. You have spoken well, your majesty. Obago, the chief servant of the gods of Ngodo land, has arrived. Oh. Welcome. And we welcome you with open and clean hearts <laughs> to Ngodo kingdom. You're welcome. Uh, Lolo. Your majesty. Oh, Go and bring the face of the moon of Ngodo Kingdom. Hmm. Tell her that the chief priest is here and my elders too. Yes. They want to behold the face of the moon of Ngodo Kingdom. Please. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay. That is it. Your Majesty, that is it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes of the gods, you are very much wisdom personified. Hey. Oh, there she comes. Which is my princess? Most virtuous princess. <laughs> Fairest of the fair. I greet you. The moon of Ngodo land. Achalugu. <laughs> Majestic as the ego. Oh. And delicate as the flower. Mm. And of its very end. My prettiest. Oh. You are as majestic as the ego. And as delicate as the flower. The gods have revealed to me the new moon. And have released accordingly the royal gong. Of union to me. <laughs> As always, wise one, the gods are never wrong. They are wise. Are you ready for it? The all knowing gods have spoken, as shown by the sacred gong in your hand, wise one. Who am I to say or act otherwise? Thank you, beauty among stars. May you remain under the favor of the gods. Say, Your Majesty, the ball is in your court. You and your chiefs. Obago will be waiting at the people's shrine in the morning. May the gods see us through. Say, oh. my presence. Oban. Igwe. Igwe. Aka ma jiroji. Oga de oga. Oba jiroji. Lolo. Hey. Igwe. Good day, my dear. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Oh dear. I fall. 
kwa some privacy with my daughter now. Okay. You may all return to your duty post. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Walk with me. to my chamber to wish me well and hug me before I slept last night, like you always do. Anxiety, my dear. Anxiety invaded your father's noble mind and also kept your mother restless throughout the night after the elders left. Though it was so powerful a feeling, they never made us forget or careless about you, for it was because of you we were anxious. Anxious because of me? Yes. Am I in danger? No, my daughter. Ojugo. You are our only child, my dear daughter. It has a lot of implications for you, for us, for the dynasty and the entire kingdom. Those implications and the fact that from now on, control of how events will unfold in your life and the royal dynasty is no longer in our hands, but in that of the gods. That was what worried us last night. Didn't you share the same feeling with us? Mother, I have learned the virtue of patience and to trust in the infallibility of the gods. Why then will I fear for events that I know the gods are firmly in control of? You mean you're not worried about the kind of man the gods are going to choose for you as a husband? Our ancient royal customs and traditions forbids me from having any association whatsoever with any man that is outside our royal extended family. That I was told is to ensure that I do not have emotional attachment with any man except that which the gods have chosen for me. I have so tuned my entire being into that reality trusting in the wisdom of the gods so i have no reason and i have found none to be anxious not even about the character of the man my father has always taught me that the heart cannot trust and fear at the same time and my parents now trying to tell me that my trusting in the gods has always been a mistake Hold on to that trust and never give up on that, no matter what happens. That was what I brought you here to tell you this morning. Your father's instructions do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, mother. Thank you for reassuring my worried heart with your wise words. All is well, <laughs> my mother. Let me walk you to your chamber.
Evil. Oh, look on the the mighty tree that shelters the living and the dead. The all knowing. The all seeing. The all power. You are the antenna code that princes even the fishes of the sea. Of the top of the temple. Any. Otopari go around to. There is no Ngodo without you, and there is no you without Ngodo. For both of you embody the essence of each other. Yesterday you started the process by revealing the new moon to your servants. And as is customary, the sovereign of Ingodo and his chiefs are before you to learn the ultimate. Speak that the kingdom may be at peace with men and the gods. Who is the groom you have anointed for our most beautiful princess? Speak, for by the peculiar circumstance you put us into, when you gave only her to our Igwe, as a child, only you can choose her mind. She is ripe for marriage according to Godo's royal marital tradition. And she and the people are with the wise choice for her. Speak, my lord and god of the people. What did God say of me? Is my daughter in any danger? Oh, your majesty, she is not. Why then is the countenance of the chief servant of the gods as dark as the ominous cloud that heralds the evil rain? What the gods said is unprecedented by its complication, your majesty. What? According to Ngodo's royal history, the circumstance that brought you and the chiefs here had occurred twice in the distant past. And in those two occasions, the gods anointed the royal groom without getting humans involved. Am I wrong? No, you are not. What did the gods say? Stop this rigmarole and just tell us what the gods said. The all-knowing gods chose three grooms for the princess. What? How in the name of common sense will the princess marry three different men at the same time? All three are anointed royal grooms. Only one of them shall become the anointed husband of our princess. When the process is over. What process wise? Who are these royal Educate the upper son of later Aris and Kume. Ojindo, the son of Kume Kume. And Chijin, the son of Kume. All three from the same family? Choice of the gods. Not mine. The gods who anointed the royal groom did so with the following instructions. Which must be followed to the letter. But they warned of dire consequences for anyone who tries to interfere or influence things in any way. Ejike will be trained in the next 16 days in the art of wrestling by Indukwe Great Wrestling. Ojindu will be likewise trained in the art of hunting by Okonji, the greatest hunter in the kingdom. So also will Chijindu be trained in the use of flute by Okonji, the master flutist of the kingdom. At the end of the training, the person to be declared the anointed husband of the princess is selected at a competition in the past. To be selected, Ejike must be able to throw seven strong wrestlers. If he is thrown by any of them, he will be disqualified. On his own part, Ojindu will shoot at and pierce seven molded fufu that will be thrown in the air before any of them falls to the ground. If he misses any of them, he will be automatically disqualified. On his part, Chijindo will have to call down the rain, or he will be disqualified. 
Nobody dares question the gods. Go and get them ready. For the process starts tomorrow. Thank you, wise one. Of the People's Palace of Ngoro Kingdom. Are we safe? Greetings from His Royal Majesty, Igwe Obieze Ugumba, the Aka Bajroje Knight of Ngodo Kingdom. To you, Ndume Nkume, your amiable wife, and our most noble twins of Ngodo Kingdom, whom the gods and the ancestors have in their infallible wisdom honored and elevated today. Mbago, the Chief Lion of the People's Palace. This is a strange, very strange salutation from the king to my humble family. And again I ask, are we safe? My colleagues have sworn by the most sacred deity of our kingdom to protect the royal family and anybody connected to it, even if it means dying in the process. We are not royals, nor connected to the royal family in any way in Bible. We are only a humble and loyal subject of our most noble king. And your humility and loyalty have not gone unnoticed, even by the gods of our land. They who see in secret and reward in secret have decided to handsomely reward you today. Ojindu, yes. you and your brother, Chijindu, you've been anointed royal grooms by the gods of our land. What? We? Royal grooms? Yes. How? 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 Yes, Mbago, how? To the best of my knowledge, the king what? has only one daughter. How could the gods anoint two royal grooms for her? Twins, for that matter. The gods are wiser than men, Ndume. We are here on royal order to bring the favored twins to the palace. Uh, 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 lions of the palace. My husband and I would like to accompany our children to the palace, please. Hey, feel free then. Now shall we? I greet you, EJK. The chief lion of Ngodo Palace. Your praises make my hair stand. To what do I owe these praises? Am I safe? Yes, EJK. The wise god of Ngodo Kingdom. Praise you even more than I, EJK. The gods of our land have anointed you 
royal groom, AJK. What? Yes. <laughs> yes! I thank you, the gods of our land. Thank you, the gods of my forefathers. Are you serious? Yes, AJK. I'm here to take you to the palace. Right now. Yes, AJK. Um, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> What pranks are the gods out to play with my family? Why would the gods give the more difficult of the selected tasks to my children? How can such be called wisdom of the gods by everybody instead of what it really is? Mockery of the gods? Yes. It's obvious that they had already chosen my orphaned nephew, educate, and are only dramatizing everything for their own dubious form. Which young man in this kingdom would stand a chance against a non-crafty wrestler like AJK, especially after he has gone through an intensive training behind the credit card? Definitely none. He will sure be the anointed husband of the princess. Yes, the gods only selected my children in order to publicly make jest of them and my family Children? Isoma, Isoma. What is this? Who baby? Just I found him in the middle of the forest. Whose baby is he? I don't know. Oh, you picked him? Eh? Yes. From the look of things, he was abandoned to to die, and ah! what is it? Ah! What is it? How could even the chief priest refer to Ojendo and Chijendo as twins? Does it mean that even the gods he serves are ignorant of what Isoma and I did that day? If yes, how then could they be called wise? Stop on me. What if they are introducing this strange drama into the selection of a royal groom for the princess in order to complete the very drama that they started 27 years ago in that forest. Yes, because the princess, being the only child of the Igwe, is forbidden from ever getting married to someone who is not from this kingdom. And for that too, it is an exclusive reserve of the gods to choose a husband for her. Why then are the gods desecrating our tradition themselves by naming an Ellen like choosing the one of the grooms? We are not wise enough to give the right answers to these questions. 
but you are not so foolish that you cannot tell that whoever is behind this jamboree is doing it for Ojindo's sake and no one else. Ejike is not a threat to Ojindo, my son becoming the prince husband. Chijindo is, and is not my son. If this is really a plan by the gods, then it's time to introduce more twists into it. I want to, and I must become a royal by marriage, and it must be through my biological son, not my adopted son. I owe him that duty as his natural father. So to hell with the warning of the gods that no one should interfere. Oputo said it would take one year of constant training to learn enough to be able to please a human with a flute. Now, becoming so good at it, so good at it that he'll be able to please the elements to release the rain. One has to train for seven years at least. He also said that in the history of Ngodo Kingdom, no flutist has ever been able to bring down the rain, even in the heart of the rainy season. Now, my brother, this is not just the dry season. This is the heart of the Hamatan season. Can you sit down? Come on, sit. What are you saying in essence? What I'm saying is that clearly the gods included me in this just to amuse people that day. Yes, for all intents and purposes, this is clearly a contest between you and AGK. How? How? Apart from Ndukwe, the cat, AGK is the next most crafty wrestler in the whole of Ngodo Kingdom. Now imagine what he would become after 16 days of intensive training by the master wrestler himself. Mm -hmm. Now you, my brother, on the other hand, you, you are a professional hunter. You have been a professional hunter since you were 14 years old. You are a talented marksman with your bow and arrow, second only to the man who was handpicked to train you himself, Okunji. How many times have I seen you, Jindo? How many times have I seen you shoot down flying birds in this compound with your bow and arrow just for fun? Uncountable times. Now tell me, what is more dead, Fufu, compared to the tiny Nza birds, which are among the birds that I've seen you shoot down in this compound several times before? Me, me on the other hand, I am a talented cover. And the gods decided to give me a flute. Clearly, the odds are stacked against me. Doesn't that say it all? Listen, this process is an affair of the gods. They are unpredictable in their ways of wisdom. If the gods did not rule you out, do not rule yourself out. I'm just being realistic here. And do. All natural things are directly controlled by the gods who named you. Including the rain and the Amatan. Or oh, are you doubting the wisdom of the gods? I am not. I'm Listen, the sin of blasphemy is first committed in the heart even before it is voiced out. My brother, beware of the thoughts you hold. And the words you speak. The gods see everything. They hear everything and he knows everything. You know what? What? I count myself 
very, very lucky to be the twin brother to such a wise man like you, Jinder. <laughs> Thank you for restoring my hope and my faith. It's nothing. Come on. <laughs> and I promise you, I promise you, if you win, I will carve the image of an eagle for you as a congratulatory gift. And if you win, I will hunt down a very big lion for you so that you will march down to the palace decorated with his majestic skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Give me a hand. I swear to you today, Ojindu, my brother, that if I win, this day, mm. that if I win, I will do everything within my power to make sure that you and Papa are given royal appointments in the palace so that we can all stay together as a family. Oh, my dear brother, I swear to you the same thing. <laughs> so, so. <coughs> it's your How long have you been here? Shortly after you came out from the house. That means you had everything they have been saying. Yes, I did. And you are not looking happy. And you are talking to me in whispers. Are you thinking what I'm thinking too? Tell me, what do you think? Mine, the destiny of Chijindu has gone into an alliance with the gods of the land to conclude the game they started with us in the forest 27 years ago. Like on that fateful day, we do not know what his destiny is or what it is up to with the gods. But one thing is sure. Chijindu has not gone into any contest with Ojindu and Fei. Now, what makes you think that this is going to be any different? Nothing. We may not know his destiny as you have said. But whatever it is, his destiny is a winner. No, he is not our son. Chijindu is not our son. In something as important as this, can we fold our arms and watch him prevail over our own biological son? Remember, whoever wins this contest will marry the princess. As the only child of the Igwe, the person automatically becomes a royal. He will move into the palace. And their first son will be the next Igwe. And if the present Igwe dies before that child is 22 years. The princess husband will mount the throne as a regent of Ogodo Kingdom till the child gets to the age. Nine. Saving Chidindo's life, bringing him up like our own son. Haven't we done enough for him? Nine. Have we not done enough for him? We have done enough for him. The tip inside me. I don't believe AGK is a serious contender in this issue. It is Chijindu I see as a threat to our biological son becoming the husband of Princess Ojugo of Ugodo Kingdom. Oh, don't you think so? Um, about AGK and Chijindu, I share the same beliefs with you. But what can we possibly do to stop a man who is obviously a project, a special project of the gods, if he is destined to win in this case? Oh. Tell the people all we know about him, mm. the truth about him. Uh -uh. About no, no, not now. We cannot. If we do that, we will be disgraced for lying to them all these years and if that happens even if our son wins 
he will be barred from entering the people's palace as people who have no integrity remaining in them. I, I don't consider that as a victory at all. Rather, it is a monumental disgrace to our family. Yes. Um. <coughs> I know all, all that. That is why I am sort of confused about what to do. Do you have any idea of what we can do to help our biological son become the anointed husband of the princess? Yes. But it will involve me confessing something that could tear us apart. But I will do that only if you promise me and swear with your life that you will not punish me. You committed an abomination? What did you do, Isioma? Swear first. What if I refuse to swear and instead summon my people to force you to confess with the family of four? Then, Isioma will sing and tell everybody what she knew about the true origin of Chijindu. Now, are you swearing or not? Obago, the eyes and mouthpiece of the gods. I greet you. Isioma, I greet you too. What brings you to my house at this hour? The fowl scouts for what to eat in that time and roost at sundown. Whatever that drives the fowl out in the night, when it's supposed to be roosting, must indeed be extraordinary. Mm, true words. Isioma, grave words indeed. I'm all ears. Privacy, wise woman. Privacy. Isioma, Abago is alone at home. My son, Ejogu, went to visit his grandfather in his maternal home. He will be spending the night there. So go on, I'm listening. <sighs> Abago, mm -hmm. the secret is becoming too heavy for me to continue to carry it in my heart. Isioma, I don't know what you mean. You know what I mean, Obago. But in case you have forgotten, let me refresh your memory. The woman standing before you was here with her younger husband 29 years ago, seeking solution to her childlessness. You convinced my husband to allow me to sleep in a special room to enable the god of fertility to have a special encounter with me. We complied only for a strange man to be coming there to have sex with me every night. At the end of it all, you got me to hug your pregnant wife according to you to tap good luck for her. Knowing fully well as a chief priest that in our tradition that any, wo any woman who sleeps with you is not supposed to have a direct physical contact with your wife while she is pregnant or she will die with the pregnancy. The woman died a few days later because that deceitful strange man coming to sleep with me for that three nights, 
was you. And when the angry ghost of your wife revealed all these things to me and threatened to strike me with life barrenness, you smooth talked me into keeping silence, keeping it as a secret. And you quickly caged his spirit with your spiritual powers. <sighs> you deliberately deceived me and used me to eliminate a woman you claimed you never loved. That was forced on you by your parents because she was betrothed to you at birth. Isioma, Isioma, I suffered huge losses as a result of that incident, and you know it. In addition to killing the very lady I wanted to marry after the death of my wife, the gods gave me the option of losing my ability to pregnant any woman or publicly confessing what I did, or they are going to kill me disgracefully if I ever approach their abode. I accepted to confess my sins, but you came begging. You came and sweet-talked me to lose my virility in order to save your marriage. I even went further to engage a powerful native doctor that entered restored your fertility. He equally lied to your husband to ensure that your marriage is maintained and that marriage you are enjoying till date. Oh, Papa, my fertility was restored on a condition that my husband will not be able to impregnate any woman again. And that woman has been living with that dilemma all these years. Believing what your friend native doctor told him, that it was in my destiny to have a new child. I love and demand my husband. And I can no longer get the pain of watching. You must continue to bear it, Isioma. You cannot confess publicly. And if you do. Don't even go there, Obago. Don't even go there. Another native doctor told me the truth some years back. Unlike the lie you and your friend native doctor told me then that I will run mad for sleeping with a chief priest if my husband or the public should care about it. The man told me that nothing will happen to me because that intercourse took place without my consent. Rather, it is you who will be disgraced and chased out of your priestly office. In addition to my husband and I having the privilege to recommend punishments for you to Iwe and Inkasu. Is that a lie? Well, I am here to inform you that I am not ready to talk. Huh? And my husband and I will tell the Iwe. Isioma, please don't do that. Isioma, you must not do that to me. Please, I beg you. Apology rejected. Let me go! Please, please, I beg you. Please. Hey! Isioma, please don't do this. I don't want to die now. Please. Ask for anything. I am going to give it to you. Demand anything. I will do it for you, please. I don't want to die now, please. Eh? I should stand up. Isoma, please. I don't want to die now. Please. I beg you. I beg you. I beg you, please. I beg you. Don't go public now, please. Please keep me. Does your womanhood still work? My manhood? Yes. If any balloon work? Yes. Why do you ask? My husband's own stopped working three years ago. And Isoma has been sex starved. I can only continue to keep this secret if only you will agree 
to continue having sex with me anytime I want it, starting from now. Miss Yama, me, Obago, have sex with you. Yes, what is there? I can have erection. I can also have sex. <laughs> but I cannot pregnant any woman. Don't worry, Obako. All is your man need is sexual satisfaction. Ah. I do need children. Are you ready to do it for me? Will you do it for me? Ghost of Ungodo! Hey! Marie! Hey! Have I not atoned enough for my sins? Oh! Ghost of my ancestors! Why did you allow such a disgraceful calamity to befall me? Why? Hey! Why me? Papa, go. Hey! Those of my ancestors. No, me. No, me. What? 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 I have it planned. I have told my husband everything before coming over. What? And both of us planned what just happened. No, me. You conspired with your wife. To have sex with me when she is menstruating. Oh. You are fully aware that as a chief priest, if I come in close contact with a woman in her menstrual period, all my spiritual powers will be removed. Oh, Dume, why? Why? You have finished me, Dume. <laughs> you have finished me. Uh. Because. Also, we end every relationship they have with you. Have you forgotten that one? Yes. I guess not. So, welcome to the club of ordinary men. <laughs> Any man in your shoes who asks for my head. But you did not go to the palace to demand for it. Instead, you came with your wife to my house to blackmail me into my own destruction. <laughs> As for your wife, she had all the time for the past 29 years to do what she did this night, but she didn't. Why now? Why this very night? The very eve of a crucial event which involves your sons. <laughs> no. Tell me, what do you want from me? Good question. Yes. We want you to help our son, Ujindu, to become the anointed husband of Prince Ujindu. With which powers? I have lost every spiritual power I possess. I need not to say thanks to either of you. Only three of us are aware of that now. We will keep it as a secret as long as you live. If only you do what you want. It is obvious you seem not to understand the implication of what both of you did this night. I have no spiritual powers left to 
without anyone. We know we have it well planned. Just I agree. Yes. And I will tell you what and how to do it. Are you in or out? Before you answer that question, just know that my wife was not bluffing when she told you that we would demand you to be buried alive. So, what do you say? Ujume is a wife. Let me ask, why going to this extent to favor Ujume and not Chijimu? Family decision and none of your business. Are you in or? Greetings, father. Greetings, mother. <coughs> Ojindu. Oh, uh, How are you this morning? Fine. Greetings to my son. Is uh, Chijindu still asleep? No. Is he not out here? Chijindu is not inside the room. Maybe he went to the toilet at the back of the house. Oh. No, I was just coming from there. Uh, he's not there. Could it be that he has gone to uh, the room? Uh, no, 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 no. Jindu will never do anything like that. Jindu that I know will never leave his compound without telling anybody where he is going. Why would he do a thing he has never done before? Today of all days. So what are you trying to say then? Nothing, Father Boy. Thank you. Jindu! 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 If it's a joke, just stop it, oh! Stop it and come out! The royal guards are coming to take us to the palace. Come out, don't you do? Show you do! 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 Come out now! Stop this job! Chijindu, come out! Chijindu! Chijindu! Get the head here! Get me what I can! Chijindu! Chijindu! Get the head here! Chijindu! Chip! Greetings to the favor of the gods! We are here on the royal instruction to bring the favor the Where is Chijindu? Magu, we are looking for Chijindu. The lion of the palace is confusing today. Uh, my brother is missing. Uh, no, 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 not like he's missing. I mean, he's not in the compound. Yes. The lion of the palace. Yes, we are actually looking for him before you arrive. Eh? 
Did you see him along your way to this place? I, I just asked you where is Chijunjo? You know. Guards! Bago. Find out. Search, find and bring him here. We must be with them at once. Alright. The royal council and the chief priest must not be kept waiting. Search for him! Chijunjo! 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 No! Chijunjo! 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 Find him! Chijunjo! Chijunjo! When I got the news earlier this morning, I immediately ordered my guards and all the able-bodied young men in Godo Kingdom to go in search of him. They have searched all the houses and the forest in Ngodo, and he's nowhere to be found. His noble twin brother and his parents have not stopped crying since then. Obago, I ask you, where can we find him so that we can bring him back to participate in the process which the gods have ordered themselves? On his case, the gods have said just one thing, but not on his way. The God said that under no circumstance should anyone in this kingdom try to find him. Or try to know about his whereabouts. Or the person willing to cure their rocks. The gods ordered such a thing on a case as serious as a missing royal groom who they, the gods themselves, appointed just yesterday. And today, they are making such another way. I, I mean, Obago, how do we continue with this process when there is a missing candidate? You took a wise decision, Your Majesty, by ordering all with you to the shrine of Ubari. The candidates and their trainers. For them to be prepared for the 16 days when you stay in the forest. Wise, of course, the gods have decreed that the process continues to judge you. Wise what? Do you mean my twin brother has been disqualified? Only death disqualifies and we have ruled by the gods. That's true. If That's your true. brother returns to Ngodo on the day of the competition, With no, no chance of winning. Without a training with the Bayopoto. Or like um, AJK and I, who are appreciable experts in hunting and, and, and wrestling, he doesn't even know how to handle the flute. That is the decision of the wise gods. And the gods are not to be questioned. You, AJK, Bajindu, step forward. I'm not stepping forward again. I'm not stepping forward. If the gods want me to participate, let them produce my blood. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going forward. Leave me alone. Silence! In your anguish, beware that you don't blaspheme against the gods because of your missing brother. Step forward now, Ojindo, with your heart and your mind, or you, your twin brother, and your family will die. So the gods have decreed. Step forward. Mm. 
A lot to learn. So, we are starting up immediately. Oh, wait. Please. I need you to make me a promise. What? You see, I do not know what is going on with my twin brother. I do not know if his sudden disappearance is the work of a man or the gods and why. But one thing I know of certainty is that the brother that I know will not disappear of his own will. And for that I am not happy. 
I am not happy because the part of me is not happy wherever it is. So I must win this competition for my brother. That is why I have decided to put my everything to what brought us here. Not because I am afraid of dying or any members of my family dying as the gods are threatened, but because I want to win this competition for my brother Chidindu. You see, Chidindu and I are bound by destiny, solidarity and love. That whosoever wins this competition between us is the same thing as the other winning. Please, promise me that you will teach me everything I need to win. Your victory is my victory. So is your failure in this venture, Ejindu. As a man, I have never failed in any assignment I was given. So, this one won't be an exception. My dear Ojindu, Okonji will not just promise you that which you ask. I swear it's me. What are you trying to do? I don't know who you gentlemen are and, and the reason you are doing this. But please, please, I, I beg you, in the name of the gods, please let me go. It's almost midday and this place you are holding me is the wrongest place I need to be on an important day in my life like this. Please, I beg you. Please let me go. Let me go back to Ngunu Kingdom in peace and you would have done everything for me. I will be forever indebted to you. Please, please sir. I beg you. Uh, just let me go and the gods of Ngodo will bless you abundantly. I assure you. Please. Hmm. We'll look to you and get a blessing and any sort of Look at us. Are we hungry? Please, this is not the time for much talk. Please let me go. Please, what you are doing here is standing in the way of my destiny and will of the gods for me. And I know you are humans. I'm sure you are. How can you be so fearless as to stand against the will of the gods and my destiny? Even if you can wrestle and prevail against my destiny, surely you cannot prevail against the powerful gods of Nkodo Kingdom. You cannot. Huh? Think about it. How much are you paid? And so what's taking this risk? <laughs> we have paid enough! I mean enough to kill you! And stop you from getting married to the princess of the kingdom! I mean enough! To do whatever we can. If you give us reason to, by define us! I'm not defying you. I, I can't. I'm not stupid, but but by doing this, you are then, defying the gods, and that is that is not. Then let the gods speak for themselves if they don't like it. Do you get me? Yes. Stop wasting your time talking to our conscience <laughs> because we don't have at all one bit, none. If you Listen to me. Be careful, it's not insult. Mind yourself. Go to Abu Godo. Arise and fight for me now. Or forever live in shame. Arise. Arise. Does the gods know you? Arise. <laughs> 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 Arise! They make, they make mockery of you! <laughs>
Greetings, noble son of destiny. Who, who are you? I am a Perry, messenger of your destiny. I was sent by your noble destiny to give you that which humans conspire to deny you. This is Ojibwe. Only the gods can give the presents to whoever they choose. In 17 days time, mine is to help you master the use of the flutes and also teach you some songs composed by your destiny. Are you ready for it? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> but who are these people? Who sends them and what happened to them? Who they are or who send them are not necessary for now. What happened to them? Well, they are sleeping. And so shall they remain until I leave here. The same thing shall be repeated every day for the next 16 days. And neither of them shall be able to know what happened or how it happened. Neither should you tell them or anyone else. Since the competition is over. Are you, are you saying I should be part of the competition? If not, then I have no business being here. What happened to Chijindu <laughs> has tainted the day that should be a day of joy for everyone in this day. With the tears of his noble twin brother, his poor parents, and indeed many in this kingdom. With my royal heart and that of my king, my princess and my chiefs are not spared either. Anyhow, one looks at it, we are affected too. We are affected not because Chijindu is one of the noble men in the kingdom that the gods named royal grooms yesterday, but because he is one of the best and most noble of all young men in the Godo Kingdom. You're right, man. So, with a heart torn apart by anger and grief, and with this ancient royal of war in my hand, I decree death for whoever will be found to have a hand in his disappearance, if indeed any human is behind it. So, I have spoken. As your majesty, your majesty, the culprit in this is not hard to fathom out. AGK is the evil hand behind my son's disappearance. My pain is made worse by the fact that instead of disqualifying him, he is still allowed to continue preparation for the competition. Arrest the AGK, bring him here, torture him uh, until he tells us we are teaching to my son, is he going <laughs> Please, Your Majesty, to safeguard the integrity of a process started by the gods. The gods decreed no interference in the process. The is innocent. Leave everything for us. There is no mystery too hard for us to solve. Do not take up a fight that we are in control of. Else we incur our wrongs. Message from the gods and the people of the world. I have delivered it. Obago is living. Well, I have spoken. 
If you move an inch, I will use this cutlass to, 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 to slice into pieces. Just make a move. Just we we do, 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 do. What, what's the meaning of this? Eh? What's the meaning of this? Give me one reason I should not bring this cutlass inside the room. Is your ma? Those who want to kill do not need to prison from their victims. I know very well that this is a show for the few happen to know. But it's a pity. There is nobody watching or even to applaud. So tell me what you want from me and stop this jamboree. What makes you so sure that this is a jamboree? Eh? You backstabbing swine. Eh? You can call me anything, Ndume. But you must know one thing. Even if I die here now, the full powers of the chief priests, including the power of vision and the ability to communicate with the gods, will be transferred to my son, the Jogo. Eh? And you know what? And that will happen even before he is installed as the substantive chief priest. What do you think will become of you and your treacherous deals with me when that happens? Yes, it will be over. You will be exposed and executed. That's what will happen, I know it. So you need me more than I need you. Is that why you did it? You did what? Is that why you stabbed us at the back? Is that why you refused to tell the Igwe and the Nijie that Ejike was behind the Jijindu's disappearance as we agreed? And even when we tried to do it ourselves, you came out from nowhere and made us look like idiots before the Igwe and his entourage. Who are you working for now? AGK, she didn't do all us. And now let me ask you this, Yama Ade. If you are in my shoes and the angry ghost of your late father appears to you telling you what to do and threatening to kill you if you don't, what would you do? Your father told you that? Yes. My father warned me never to implicate AGK as you wanted. He was even the one that came to your house to refute your claims. Yes, the body was mine, but it was my father speaking. Hey! Me. You are lying. Aren't you? Yes, yes. Dume and the wife, if you want to die early, I don't. A spiritually empty chief priest is far better than a dead one. I will cooperate with you as much as the gods and the dead will allow me. If you don't like it that way, kill me now or better still, go public and tell them what you have on me. But before you do that, don't forget, a wise man does not threaten the man whose firm group is on his testicles. Mm -hmm. 
phone just sit down do me and this wife oh you see your man See, the sun is going down. It's over today, and the quarry has to return to where he came from. You want to leave me here, Aiko? Yes, and exactly the same way I met you. Please, don't do this to me. Don't, don't you do this to me, please. See, if these beasts wake up, they will kill me for what you have just done to them. Please. Don't leave me here. Just help me get back to Ngodo and I... Only your destiny can say when you shall return to Ngodo. As for your daughters, don't worry. I told you that I will remember nothing. Give them maximum cooperation from now on. It is necessary for you and for your destiny. I just saw myself from the from the from the from the from the, from the ground. I'm also. Concentration and strategy is the key. Always remember that. We are trying to, as time goes on, we will learn faster. Make sure the arrow is pointed at this target, okay? Pull it back, did you see my hand? Yeah. It's steady. And the arrow is pointing at this target. Yes. Then you look straight to the target, eh? you pull it back. Okay, As you pull it back, you release the arrow, you're straight, goes to the target. Okay? 
Nóng thư phẩm xì Nóng thư phẩm xì Now shoot, let me see. Oh, I missed it. Grief and concentration are key, but they are not all. The wind, its speed and direction also matter. Reading them accurately is a critical element here. Is that why I fail to hit at the target for the eighth consecutive time today? To a large extent, yes. Well, not to worry. I will coach you on all that tomorrow. It's time to call it good, eh? So tomorrow, I'll teach you more, okay? Because of you, good. So my wife was not lying when she said that both of you are here in my house. The book and the gallery. What are you doing in my house this early morning? Came to collect our balance. Your balance? Is that why you are risking the very thing we paid you to do by coming to my house in the daytime? You want to jeopardize everything at this 11th hour? Honestly, we don't know what you're talking about. Now, how do we explain the presence of your half year mercenaries in my house, in my compound, after what happened here 15 days ago, if you are seen by my people? Eh? Don't you know that in Ngudu, the only thing associated with people like you are kidnappings, assassinations, and war? In which case, only the Igwe and Cancer can hire you. Even a big fool will be able to put two and two together if they are seen here and the whole thing will be blown open. Then stop talking and get us what you're here for. Quickly. Yes, because if you don't, we're not living here. Don't talk like that. My husband and I are not saying that you're not going to get your palace. We just express our fear. Okay, now that both of you are here, who is securing Chijindo in the forest to make sure things don't go wrong? One of you should have come. I'm not even in daytime. Yes. This is not our first time in this kind of job. Nothing will go wrong. Though we really do not understand the reason behind the whole drama of asking us to kidnap and babysit your son for 17 long days before killing him and dumping his body in a nearby forest. As against what we are used to, abducting and killing our victims immediately. So you think we were joking when we told you that Whoever touches the hair of him will instantly be killed by the gods. In Ngudu, every chosen royal groom is sacred until after the wedding day. And that wedding is tomorrow. A lot of stories in this operation. And that is why we don't trust you. Yes, we are here for a balance. And I don't trust you. But I want to make you understand something. I don't want your surprises at the conclusion of the job. You don't trust us. Then how can we trust that you will not have us at the back? Please. No, no, no. Iboko, please. Don't do it then. No, no, no. Please. The money now. Iboko, Iboko. If you cut that road because you are here wasting time talking. I will use your head. But you are my compound. You know what? Please. Make sure he gets the money, Boko. Confirm the money. Tommy. Confirm it. Have you checked that money? Let's go. How can we trust them again? I mean. Don't you think we have made a very big mistake by hiring them in the first place? 
I don't know, but I swear with my blood. If they don't carry out the assignment for which we have paid them fully, blood, there will be blood bath Nani, in their both families. They are professional warriors. You are not in Kemi. Who will bring her past the blood bath that you just threatened of? They are not the only merchants of blood in this part of the world. Are they? Ezekiel, as I told you, size and strength is not always the key in a wrestling contest. Concentration, you watch your opponent make a wrong move, then you capitalize on it. That is the strategy. So let's do it. Let's go. Ready? Yes, let's do it again. Let's, let's do it again. again. Let's do it. Ready? Target. Yes. Ugh. That's my boy. <laughs> I'm loving this game. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my boy. 
I'm proud of you. You are doing great. So let me see I'm how you perform against a movie. Ah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm learning fast. <laughs> oh, I can hear a ball singing on top of the bamboo tree. So I'm going to shake it and let me see how you target me. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you concentrate while I shake it. Make sure you don't miss it. Okay? Yeah. Now, just. Oh yes! Oh, you got it! You got it! You got it! <laughs> so let me get. How it? That was Thank you. Yes. Let's rehearse the song. Okay. <laughs> 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 Many out of them is in breach of any of the rules so far. Ngodo Kwenu! Hey! Ngodo Kwenu! Hey! Kwezu Enu! Today is a very special day in my family. Our princess especially. And of course, the royal dynasty. Well, I guess I do not need to bore any of you with all the details of the significance of today. We all know what we are here for. Every other thing happening here is only a part of the process of the climax we are gathered here for. The climax is whom the gods chooses as a groom for my daughter at the end of the day. I therefore want to specially congratulate AGK and Ojindo for finding such rare favor in the eyes of the wise gods and for successfully completing their training for today's events. This is a peculiar royal wedding, entertaining, competitive, and an exhibition of our rich culture in its very finest. Our wise god chose to make it so. Ours is today to sit back just enjoy it. Is it more? I'm going to win. Yeah. Win. Hey. First one. As long as you are the vision of Ramuiria Bano, His Majesty has said it all. It is a peculiar royal wedding indeed. Such has never taken place in our kingdom. At the end, we all we know why the gods of Ungudo Kingdom. Just it to be like this this time. AGK is going to start first. If he succeeds in throwing down the seven challengers, the competition is over, and that means he has won. But if not, Ojindo will take over. But if both of them finally fails at the end, it means Princess will remain unmarried forever, God and forbid. we all know what that means. God to God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. In my capacity as the mouthpiece of the gods of Ungodo Kingdom, I declare the competition open. EDK Ojindo, it is time for action. Wrestler one, step forward. <laughs> Mm. Hey. 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 
Ekrembo, Ekrembo ne me. Ah. 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 They are marrying the princess. They are still here. You can't marry her. Stop dreaming. Stop dreaming. You can't get her. At no, all. You cannot. You're here. Shh. Say no word. <laughs> Follow me.
the road to Rogo Forest. I know this road. Hey. But... The instruction was, and it's still say no word, children. From this moment on, your destiny is in your hand. The competition is already on. When we win it, your mother has the right to know for now. Make it to the palace on time if you want to participate. If I were you, I will run as fast as my legs can carry me. And I will start now. Because there are seven miles to be covered from here to go to the village. Go! Go!
The gods of Ungodo congratulate you. The living and the dead of Ungodo congratulate you also. Indeed, you have proven that he whom the gods have chosen, no one can cause. Your Majesty, with the situation at hand, it is obvious that the gods have made this day a glorious day. In my capacity as the mouthpiece of the gods, Your Majesty, it is in no doubt that the gods have proven to us that today is a great day indeed. A princess, step forward. Did you English, step forward. I'll go Yes. A princess. This is the ancient golden egg, a symbol of royal marriage. Take it to your anointed husband as a sign of acceptance. But be careful. Make sure it does not fall from your hand. For if it does, you know the consequences. This is epilepsy from the gods. Okay, listen, don't touch her. Why is, why is, why is one? Don't touch why is her. One? Don't go close to her. Don't. Chichendu, what have you done to my daughter? Oh! Oh! Let me just see my head. How dare you? Dance! Take this wizard and the present parents out of my palace immediately! Your Majesty, get out! My princess! My princess! My princess! Take them away! Your Highness! My princess! Take them away! Any of you is still in doubt about the full implications of what happened in the palace today. The Igwe, by his deeds and words, holding this family responsible, especially Chijendo, responsible for everything that happened in the palace today. But I have no hand in it, Father. Yes, Father. It's our enemies at work. I mean, my sons, we cannot conclude anything. Now, without facts. Yes, we need facts to convince others about anything. The Igwe, by isolating himself from us, has literally isolated us from every other one in this kingdom. Yes, nobody. We are all alone in this and in great danger too. Unless Children do here is ready to provide answers to certain questions. Me? What questions, Father? Questions like why you left this compound without telling anybody 16 days ago? Why you exempted yourself from the training order by the gods? Where were you all this while? Who taught you how to use the flute? And who helped you procure one? Most importantly, how you were able to get to the palace at the time you got there. Yes, 
A lot of strange things had happened since your disappearance. Especially at the palace today before you arrived. For instance, a thoroughly trained wrestler like AGK was thrown mysteriously by a small boy when he was almost winning the competition. And according to your brother here, he missed his last attempt because strangely he saw seven moles of fufu instead of one when he wanted to shoot. And to crown it all, a missing and untrained competitor like you emerged from nowhere and started playing a mysterious flute and singing a well composed song like an expert musician. My son, how was that possible, Chichi? Hmm? Which great DPI did you conspire with to subvert the will of God of Ogodo and endanger? The royal dynasty in the process. What? Are you accusing me of treachery? I am not, son. I am not. The Igwe did when he ordered us out of the palace. If you have forgotten, his only child and his throne are in danger. And he will go to any ring to find out what happened. Son Chichi, tell us the truth so we will know how to help you when. Mother! I am not a diabolical cheat. I am not. I am, and I am still a victim in all of this. A victim? Yes. I am the victim. I was kidnapped by two strangers when I came out here to ease myself the night before the commencement for the training of the competition. They took me to a straight jungle and they tied me up. As, as for the flute and the songs, a strange fellow who only identified himself as a messenger from my destiny came to teach me. He gave me the flute as a gift too. Jim, you're not making any sense here. You were kidnapped and tied up in the jungle. Yet, someone taught you how to make use of the flute. Very well. And the songs you rendered in the palace. How? Yes, uh, but, Father, I, I cannot explain how it happened. I cannot. My abductors fell asleep whenever the fellow came to teach me. And they stayed asleep until he was done. Even earlier today, when he came to free me from the place, they were asleep. That is all I have to say. Father, mother, Ojindu, that is all I have to say and that is the truth. Uh, 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 can you trace the place they took you to? I mean, do you need the place? Um, the chief priest must explain this. Sit down. Jinjin, sit down. Oh, Jinjin. Your mother and I are going to the shrine to see the chief priest. Stay with him. Ndume and his wife, oh, is your man. We get people. Do me and this wife for you, see your man. Do me and this wife for you, see your man. Do me and this wife for you, see your man. Do Look at him. Fools have slept off. And I still sleep in. Nine. What manner of messenger of destiny would render professional merchants of blood useless like this? Can we ever be safe with such powerful force behind you? Think about it in nine. Could it be that we have provoked something we cannot contend with. Okay. I don't have an answer to any questions now. I have only an answer. That is for these buffoons. 
for failing us so woefully. You just talked about being safe. Now with what those beasts did to us in our company yesterday, do you still think we, are, we will ever be safe with them? That what we did with them will ever remain secret with them? our hands we will wipe out every danger they may pose to us. I said they pretend us always to do us. Isn't it time you let me be? Is your man and Haven't you put me into enough trouble already? Hey! That is problem. There is trouble. All of us are inside this trouble. And we must look for solutions if we must leave. That mm. is why we are here. So I choose now. You are in a wrong place if it is a solution that you seek. In a very wrong place. Obago, we understand your anger and frustration. But this is not time to sit back doing nothing. You were right. When you declared last time that Chijindu has a strong and winner destiny. From what he told us, his destiny has already risen to his defense. And that brings me to ask, are we ever going to be safe if nothing is done to save our heads? Good and important question. You are asking the wrong person. How? You are asking me how. Ahem. I have no spiritual powers anymore. Eh? I cannot even see or hear from the gods. The last time they spoke to me, it was a warning they gave to me. Eh? I am now only a priest. In appearance and nothing. Eh? Remove this clothes. Take away this OG. I will just be like both of you. Eh? This is what you people reduce me to that cost tonight. Thank you. Ndume and the wife. Thank you. What, what if the Igwe comes here? What, what the Igwe, Igwe just come? left here with his chiefs. If yes, I and I lied to them that the gods are silent. Well, and I told them that they should never make any attempt to consult any other gods or seer. Good. If they do not want the kingdom to be enveloped by a terrible epidemic. And now, do you see what you have reduced me to? A powerless priest who shamelessly lies to his people with the name of the gods. Unumelo Fuma, are you happy now? Ndumed and the wife, are you happy now? Rapper Maka, because Rapper Maka, hey, it's so good. Hey, hmm, what baga banyego? Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Oh, quiet! Let me be! Let me be! Calm down, Just Your Majesty. Calm down, I Your don't Majesty. want to hear anything! Quiet! Quiet! My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My... What is it? The Princess is awake. Huh? She is? Yes, she is. Oh, my poor girl. 
Let's go see. Your Highness. Hey, hey. My wife alone. My poor daughter. Gods, you are here. Mother told me you are where I'm here. She told me you were the one that ordered for me to be locked up inside this cage. Why? What did I do? I'm your child. Your own flesh and blood, your daughter. Your mother's reincarnate as you call me. What did I do? My dear beauty. Praise me not, my dear father. For there is no beauty in the sun. That will be locked up in a cage like a dangerous beast by her parents. A cage princess has everything but beauty and dignity. Set me free, Father, so that I, I have my beauty and dignity intact. That is all I ask for and not praises. You know, people calm down. Oh, calm down. Please. How do I calm down? Tell me. Did you ever find yourself in this kind of situation in your father's house? If you did, teach me how to calm down in a cage. For I do not know. Teach me, please. My daughter, we are in this together. Are we? Are we in this together? I am aware that in our kingdom it is a taboo to be an epileptic. Such a person is banished from the kingdom within seven days or the gods will strike the person dead. Anyone who even comes in contact, in close contact with the same person, becomes a taboo and leaves the kingdom. Are you saying to me that we're in this together? If we are, touch me. Touch me. Touch my hand. Touch my hand. Your Majesty, Akabaji Lodge, the land of Ngodo Kingdom. Oh no. Your Majesty, speak before my royal heart will be torn to shreds. Speak if and only if 
by so doing, you will take away these pains from me and my household. Speak. No. Please. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. The royal Ura historian read the marks made by our ancestors at the cave of the kings of the Godo Kingdom. Just as you instructed. Yes. Did he see any solution to our present dilemma? Your Majesty, if what he saw could be called a solution, yes. Oh, no. Speak. Tell me everything now. I want to hear it. No matter what it is. Your Majesty, there is a replacement for the golden air. And only by retrieving and returning to this kingdom within the next seven days will the princess be saved from the fate that awaits her and your dynasty saved your majesty. Where is the golden egg? It is at the center of the evil forest guided by Ebele, the one-breasted evil mother of the night. Even if it is guarded by a million Ebeles, I, Igwel Bieze Ogumba, the Akabajiroji of Ngodo Kingdom, I will go and overpower whatever needs to be overpowered and I will bring it back here to save my only child at the throne. Whatever it takes. In fact, I'm going now. Unfortunately, you are not qualified to go. Oh no, the princess we're talking about is my only child. We're talking about my mother's reincarnate, my blood, my only child. I know your majesty, but only a young man who has grown heirs in his groin and not yet married can go. Rest to her and to her belly seven times, then retrieve the egg. If he first, the princess will die instantly. The royal guards are not at all this, your majesty. Said the old wise sister. Cheerful, Your Majesty. It is as if the gods read my intention for bringing you here and decided to further subject our princess to another round of this show of shame and dignity so that you can appreciate more the degree of my dilemma. With what we heard from the royal historian, this princess needs our urgent help, not our sympathy. Uh, Your Majesty, like you, we two are not qualified to do what is needed. I know, but both of you have at least three sons each who are qualified. What? Your Majesty, our children? Yes, please talk to them. Convince them, if you really love this girl, our princess, if you really love me, your king, and you, if you really care about the throne of our fathers, you will get one of your sons to... Nietzsche, Nietzsche of Godot, please, if truly you are loyal to me as you have professed over these years, this is the time to show it. Loyal is. And there is no honor in one for whatever reason. Yes, doing as you want is the same thing as murdering our own children by ourselves. For it will mean sending them to the evil forest to die. Your Majesty, if you want us to tell you the truth, it's not 
we cannot volunteer our children in situation. No. Ndiche. Ndiche. Is there a solution? Look at the princess of your kingdom. Look at the lady you spent 16 days training for educate. Look at her cruel state. Behold what misfortune has turned her into. From the happiest and most beautiful to the most traumatized woman under the sun in just a few hours. Look at her and appreciate more the urgency of what I called you to appeal to you to do for her. Even as a king, I am not ashamed to cry before you and hence the tears in my eyes. Which parent wouldn't cry seeing his or her child in this condition? Knowing what to do to save her but disqualified by the gods from doing it. HK, you are a fearless wrestler and you have proven that in countless contests in and outside in Dodo. Please help her. Please help me avert this calamity. And I swear to you that I will give you whatever you ask of me. I share in your grief, Your Majesty. But I, EGK, have only wrestled with fellow humans and not spirits. Worst of all, an evil one like Ebele. How can my king ask me to embark on a suicide mission? Because he wants to save his only daughter on the throne. Educate. If you do this, our gods will protect you in order to protect the princess and the throne of Ngodo. For both are embodiments of our pride and dignity. Your Majesty, the gods who allow the fair princess 
to be reduced to this, for no apparent deliberate wrong of hers or her family. We'll also allow anything on every other person. I am sorry to disappoint you, Your Majesty. I cannot take such risk, knowing I am an orphan and an only child too. What if I order you to do it with a royal decree, failure of which you will be banished for life from this place? Your Highness, life in exile is by far better than suicide in the Ever forest. Kabunkagi Kabunkai Kabunkamon on Abo. Oh, cause he may Kabuz in Konya Kabuz in Konya. The gods of our land, who owns this? Oh, gods, you may not run and wait your dear get an under money, I cannot take a one day. I get an under mono. Take him aside. Come and sit down. Just walk here. Just walk here. Oh man! Oh, what made you think that I'm the one? Oh, of course, you I cannot Hey! <laughs> 
，哎，小姐妹。青木，阿光奴可是为咩？嗯，嗯，阿罗可是如？Completely healed, as if he was never sick at all. <laughs> yes, I feel like that, Okuchi. But of what relevance is my healing when my twin brother is not healed yet? One is better than both. Of them. <laughs> eh? With you totally healed, Shabona and I are okay. Ojindu's healing is only but temporary. The moment Sejendo dies. He too shall die. But how could that be? They are not. Ah! So. Oh, God. Please. They are the only children we have. What do we need to do to avoid such? Hmm. The flute is Moses the sixth. Embodies his destiny. It is the physical representation of the spiritual essence of his life. Yes. It was his destiny that attacked both of them. Unless the flute is returned to him. They will die at any moment within the next twenty-four hours. <laughs> save him! Yes, save him, or your will become childless. Ndume and this young man, save him. I don't know what to do. People are saying that he must have cheated on the gods. Hence, you should not be able to I don't know if it is true. And so, I cannot be able to Look at her spirits. The name is you. Look at the lady you prepared for and competed for. Look at the new abode of my only child. Not by any choice of hers, but on the orders of her own father. She's not sleeping. She's unconscious. Lost all her strength after suffering her third epileptic seizure in the last few years. Can you just imagine that? I think that is what I want to say. 
it will not be safe for spirit. Only pray for and sacrifice is over. wife has said it all. If you want the food back to save yourself and your brother, then you must do what is required to save my daughter first. Your Majesty, you say, Your Majesty, we are both in need of saving the lives of our own and to you. Just for I, I, I can't. I mean, it's suicide. Yes. Yes. Really? Bago, show them the way out of my palace and never let them in anymore. Your Majesty, is that a wise thing to do? The moral thing? The answer is that wisdom and morality have been taken by the cities. How else do you want me to say it for you to understand that coming to me is not the For God's sake, you have to hear me out. Hear me out first. My family is in great danger as we speak now. In fact, we'd rather go into exile than send our son to the evil forest to wrestle with an evil spirit, powerful evil spirit like Evelyn. That's another name for society. But then, going on exile is not a good option for us. Because when we cannot save our son, only seven children do can. And only the fruit that was seized by the evil can save him. According to our coach, how does that exile? I mean, am I the one that sees the fruit? By the way, you want to save yourself, isn't it? And you must understand that he wants to save his daughter too. You have refused to help him save his own one. But you want him to help you to save yours. How do you expect him to help you to save your son? Tell me. Oh my God. Listen. Besides you, it's only my wife and I oh. that know that you, 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 you have been rejected by the gods. The way is not our way yet. So please, just go to the way and tell him a lie in the name of the gods. A kind of lie that will scare him and make him give us this defeat quickly. Please, do me. Yeah, maybe. Your selfish wish is that I should talk to you. I'm selfish. I'm still. If I, Obako, will go to speak to the people again, it will be to tell him what you, your wife, and I are going to eat. That will be a hell of a Obako canal. Leave. If I ever see you or your wife near me, I will expose what you did and you are going to come to see Tell me, get out. Leave my house. Who the hell am I that from? Do something, please. Please. You can't do this for my daughter, for the kingdom. Please. Look at her condition, Bikomo. Do something. For everything I have in the kingdom. Please. Chief Priest, please. Your Majesty. My Princess. Much as I would have loved to help, Obago is only but the messenger of the gods. I speak what they tell me. I only do the bidding. In this case, 
Of Ungodo, my ancestors. Hey! Tonight you stood by your resolve not to take food or water. From the day I was born, my parents taught me every virtue they used to know. But they did not teach me how to develop an appetite to eat much. You are not. You are rather compounding your woes. How do you think you can survive this ordeal without food and water? Eh? God didn't even say that I will survive by eating and drinking now. The old wise royal historian made recommendations. Do something about those recommendations. Implement them. And I will eat and drink all there is in this world. I need my health back and my freedom. Not food and water. The mother still that we are. I also still down the plate with mourning the betrayal and my helplessness in the face of this tragic challenge in my family. How could the God do this at wedding challenge? At the same time, tie my hands to the extent that all I can do is to watch, wish, and mourn. Do nothing else. You are the king, my father. Exercise your royal powers to have your daughter, your only child, locked up in this humiliating place. Why don't you use the same powers and get someone to go to the evil forest to save me if you truly value me? I have issued threads upon threads to countless number of people, including my younger brother. The sons, the mother's siblings and their sons too, all told me they would rather go on exile than go into the evil forest. Some even threatened suicide. The son of the chief priest was the first to do that, and the father said nothing. <laughs> then I am doomed. I am doomed. If a job the one who is next in line to the priestly office, the one who enjoys special protection of the gods, is afraid. <laughs> and I am doomed. There is no hope. I am doomed. Yes. Because I trust and they will never suffer the innocent to perish. That's why the circumstance. Did I hear you say the gods are just, mother? Yes. The gods are just? Look at me. Look at where I have called home since yesterday. What can be just about the gods that allowed such upon an innocent maiden? Lose everything in this dehumanizing situation. I believe deep down in my heart that the gods are trying not to not punishing us. If it is so, only our faith can save us. That is why I am behind. And that is why I want all the us to be part. Father, let me go in exile that I may live. I do not want to die. No, I will not. My only child on exile, separated from us. To me, it's the same thing as a dead child. So you will stay here with me. If the gods allow anything to happen to you, 
then I will go to their shrine and commit suicide. He's not dead. He's not dead yet. He's still clinging to life. Two of you. Lend me a hand. Let's carry him. Carry him? Yes. Oh, where? After doing this to you, you must release the fruit to us today. 
Or if I lose my children because he refused, he's going to have their corpses for an age there. Let me your hands, let's carry him. We are taking Chichen to the palace. No, oh, yeah. He can't go like this now. Let me get some water. I clean him up. What is going on? This is the second time this morning I am hearing my father shout orders in anger. Who is that is ordering the guards to punish? Throw the devil out! Throw the devil out of Now! Your Majesty! Say that made my daughter to call. Her royal father is a noble, gentle, and wise king, and not a brash tyrant. What is going on in the palace this morning? Is that why you call for me with such? I demand answers. No one orders me around like that. And you know that, Ojiuko. I am the king. A king that has been reduced to a shadow of himself since yesterday. But even at that, I refuse to accept that the redemption we seek lies in brutality and tyranny. A lion surrounded by danger considers no virtues. Exigency swaps position with conventional wisdom and candor. But the survival is assured. That is what your traumatized father has been going through this morning. That is what is going on here. Take away wisdom and candor from a king and all you get is a beast in royal regalia. The gods forbid that I associate myself with such a man as a king and father. All I have done, I have done for you, my dear daughter. Don't I deserve some understanding from... Hey. The journey to the evil forest is that of bravery and conviction. What do you think will be the outcome if you force a man to embark on it out of frustration, even in the midst of provocation and misunderstanding, a king should be able to retain and contain those very virtues that endeared him to his people, or his reign will just be a hollow mockery. Those were your words, your exact words to me. Please, go and return that flute to them. You must be! Lose everything in this dehumanizing situation, but not your mind and your faith. Still, those were your words to me, right here, a few hours ago. Have you lost your faith in the wisdom of the gods, my father?
What are we doing here? What happened to you before? No, no, what is going on? You we were struck by a strange illness. Because of the fact that you persist. And Okochi said so, the deep Okochi the deep said so after he healed me. That if you don't get this food, you will die and I will die too. So since yesterday we've been trying to tell the Igwe to give us this, but Igwe refused, saying that I must go to the evil forest. Evil forest, that's it. Why, as a punishment, the solution to the, my daughter's predicament can only be procured from the evil forest. And only an unmarried young man can do that. All the unmarried young men in Godot refuse to go. And my daughter is dying. The throne is slipping out of my hand. But why would the young men of Godot refuse to go on a mission that will save the only princess of this kingdom? Even you, Ojindu. To get the replacement of a golden broken egg, one needs to go to the evil forest to pursue and prevail against the enemy. One percent even more than one But yes, that is it, my brother. It is mission impossible. Another name for suicide. That's That's for if a baby prevails against the person, she will devour the person and the princess will die. That's it. That's why all son of Ungodo wants to go, including me. That's it. Your Majesty, can I see the princess? That will be necessary. Because. With what the royal guards did to us and the others of the king this morning, everything that connects my family to us has been broken. Yes. Your father is right. That will be necessary, Chief. For everything that connects me with the kingdom is about to be broken. As we speak now, my law law is already packing our luggage. I have decided to follow my daughter, my next to see. We are going home straight. Yes. And if you don't go with us, like if you don't follow us, consider yourself a man without a family. Let's go, be the kind of father. Chijendu. Chijendu. Uh, he can <laughs> even you two. Uh, Come down now. If you still feel anything other than anger and hatred for any member of the family who did this to you, then you are not worth any sympathy for me. Right? Let's go home now. Chijendu. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, Father. Let's go. I've heard. Let's go. Sorry, forget it. My princess! My princess! Affirmation! Don't do that! We put you in a cage. Miss Fortune, that cruel handmaiden of fate has turned a happy princess into a contagious prisoner. Chijin, what are you doing here? Thank the gods you're alright. What, what are you doing here? My princess, when the gods made me a royal groom and helped me prevail in yesterday's contest against all odds, they made a statement. They, in no uncertain terms, said that my place is in your heart. I'm by your side till the day that I die. And that is how it is going to be. Listen. If you're saying that to get me to agree to 
take you along with us into exile. I will not allow that to happen. We are going to do this as a private family of mother, father and daughter and nothing more. Your Majesty, nobody is going to exile. The throne of Ngudu will remain in your house. And, and my princess will neither go in exile nor die in this cage. I, Chichin Tundume, will go to the evil forest, wrestle and prevail against the Bele. I will retrieve the golden egg required to save her life, and I will marry her. I swear with my life, before all of you here today, I swear. I swear to you. It will be my way. Hmm. Oh, believe me, believe me. believe me, believe me, believe there are strict rules guiding the mission you are about to embark on in Devil Forest. No matter what you see, feel, hear, or encounter in Devil Forest, you must not take a step backward. Number two, no matter how hungry or thirsty you may be in the Evil Forest, you must not eat any food or drink any water. They are all meant for the spirits, not mortals. The moment your mouth touches any of them, you will die and become a spirit. Number three, no matter the level of suffering or frustration you encounter in the evil forest, you must not abandon the mission that took you to the evil forest. And the last, no matter what happens, you are forbidden from shedding even a drop of tear as long as you are in the evil forest. If you fail to keep any of these rules or ever abandon the mission that took you to the evil forest halfway, our princess will die instantly. With this, you are forbidden from speaking until you enter the evil forest. Utter a word before death. Thunder will strike you dead instantly. Your Majesty, I am through with him. Thank you, Obago. Chijindu, remember the promise you made to my daughter, my wife, and I. Remember the burden this journey is placing on you. If you fail, the woman you love dies, and the dynasty in my family comes to an end. For all of us, and the ancient throne of Ngodo dynasty, do what you must do to succeed. You have a winner destiny. May it help you to prevail. He said, May the gods of Ngodo see you through. He said, Goodbye. Safe journey and good luck. Obago. Your Majesty. Chijindo, on your feet. Hey! I see you to the Canada morning, Joe. Huh? May you go well. I want to I to the shrine for the materials you need for the journey. Your Majesty. Oba again, where you Ah! 
<laughs> if that boy succeeds in saving and getting married to the princess, your entire family will be wiped out by the boys. Hey! Huh? Use every means possible to stop that from happening. It is still one to stay Tell us what to do. How do we stop him? What did Oba go tell him a while ago? After putting the seal of mortal silence on his lips. That if he utters a word before he enters the evil forest, thunder will strike him dead instantly. Yes. <laughs> you are his parents. At least. I think so. You know too. The spirits know. And I will wine and dine with the spirits also know. Don't ask me who his real parents are. Because even in the spirit world, that still remains a mystery. Only his destiny knows. And he is somewhere around this place. Yes. On his way to the evil forest. Do whatever you must. Exploit his innermost family fraternal instincts and emotions. And get him to disobey that rule and you shall live. Okochi, if he speaks, he will die. And you told us yesterday that if he dies, our son Ojin will also die. So how can we do such a the moment the flute was returned to him? Uh, your son's life and destiny got permanently separated from him. Yes. Time is of the essence in the lay and is your man. Go. Don't waste time. Yes. Go. Look at you now. You may and you see where for you see them, we get paid. You may and you see where for you see them, we get You may and you see where for you see them, we get paid. You are our son. You are our brother. Nibu has no right to send you to the evil forest for the society show without the person. You will go no further unless you give us good reasons. Stop on this! Focus on this! Stop on this! Stop on this! We are not parents! And we know you are not dumb! Talk! Talk to us and where you are! Talk! 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 Talk
You tell us where. Hey! What is your problem? Hey! Come on! Hey! Come on! 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 I said they breathe in the solace to the worst you Go back! Mere mere niru Bampiti na zuo You should be the one explaining to us why you decided to endanger the lives of your parents trying to protect Jindu. Jindu is my twin brother. When the both of you left for Okochi's place, I returned back to the palace. From my hiding, I heard everything about the Okochi, about the rules of the journey he was embarking on. Father, I love Jindu and water and blood. When you were trying to stop him, Tunda would have struck him dead instead. That was how I had to run. When the point of my wife came to tell me about what was going on in the bush battle. Tell me, are you doing that out of ignorance? We are aware of the rules of no speaking with to an end. Yes, we know. Aside watching everything that happened in the palace from Okosi's shrine. All the rules given to him by the chief priest are standard rules for everybody. Any man joining him to Where? that it has said the one he was going to die, and you and Mama still went ahead to try to force words out of his mouth? What are you people up to? Are you trying to kill my twin brother and I? It's not even your biological plan. Chijindu is a child abandoned in the forest. I found him moments before your mother delivered you, also in the same forest. to me about him. You brought him up to this stage. Just to be to treat him in such a, in such a wicked and heartless manner. Why? Why did someone change of heart? Ujindu. Huh? What about me? Why have you chosen to endanger the life of your biological son? Just to destroy him. Ujindu. We did everything we did in self-defense. Yes. Now, 
with the return of the flute. Okochi said that your life is no longer tied to his. In fact, it is his death that is going to save us all from the disgraceful death that is coming to us if he eventually succeeds in marrying the princess. That's one more lie. May the gods strike us dead now if we are lying to you. Let us go in so we can explain more. forbidden to drink or eat anything in this forest for as long as I'm in it. I came here with no food, only water. So why then do you ask me for my water? Why? To deliberately expose me to the dangerous temptations of thirst? What does that make you? A friend or a foe? Who demand that you choose to tell the thirst and say my friend, your man, the water? Any other thing, anything, my, my sword, my sword, even my clothes, anything. I, I don't mind embarking on this journey stark naked, but please, not my water. Ask me of anything and I will give it to you, please. Those belong to the ancient warriors of the evil forest. You need the water now, or I will command them to pierce your head from every direction. 
Welcome to the forest of the day. You are bold of the good, the bad, and your mistress. Take a step backward, and they will leave you. If you refuse and they will sting you to death. They are the swarm of bees that have got the evil force. You have angered them by coming here. Take a step backward. No matter what you say, feel here and If I take a step back, my love! The princess of Ukuro will die! Ah, ah. And if you don't, we shall sting you to death. God of Ukuro! What should I do? I don't want to die! I don't want the princess to die too! The gods of the land have no power in this forest. For as long as you are here, your fate is in your hand. You have for the few seconds to be your children. Then I'd rather defy you, whoever you are, and die with my honor intact! Ah! 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 I'd rather move forward towards my destination. I don't stand here and wail like a helpless child, child. I want to move forward. Can have my love die because I failed in my mission here. Whoever you are, do your worst. Do your worst. I'm going forward! God! Wisdom and courage have saved you.
Gana! Guys, have you Gana! What is going on? What is going on? I have, I have told, told you before that your gods have no power in this world. Uh, what? Is that why you're burying me alive? Is that why you want to bury me alive? Are you such a coward that you attack a man while he is asleep? An example of offense. Sleeping under the tree of the spirit of the grave. Every tree in this forest is the home of a particular spirit. You can rest under them. Anywhere. What about humans? Are humans need sleep? You are not in the land of humans, are you? Stop! No one told me of this rule before. No one! The rule is not known to man. And you not being aware of it before is the only reason you were allowed to wake up for the rest. Now save yourself if you can. God! of us who decided to go to bed at Kokoro. After waiting for him all through the night, I just woke up this morning and saw him like this. Is he okay? Father, I am okay. Father, I am fine. I stayed out all through the night yesterday because I am ashamed of myself. I am such a spineless coward. Although my coward eyes save the both of you. I don't understand. When I left here in anger yesterday, after you finished confessing to me about the abominable things that you did, not just leaving your presence to deal with my anger and my disappointment as both of you thought, but I was actually on my way to the palace to expose the both of you. You don't have to be afraid. I allowed my emotions to swallow the honorable man in me. What was the royal decree passed by the Igwe after the hidden incest committed by Nana Okunta's children that almost wiped out his extended family before they confessed? I mean, what is the decree the Igwe passed concerning abominations? If one hears or sees being committed, um, the person must report to the leaders of Udo Kingdom before they break. Or they will face the same consequences. So yes. Having failed to report to the Igwe what the both of you told me, do I have any rights to condemn you? I mean, if you're devils for doing it, am I any better for concealing it? 
It is obvious that you did what you did. Just for me. Even though you failed to achieve your ultimate goal at the end, which is not your fault. But the fact still remains that you did what you did for me as your only child. And to me, that's honorable. Honor in evil, as when we call it, but honor in honor. You know, close to the palace yesterday, a voice in me asked me, being not your biological brother, is there any justifiable reason for you to condemn your parents to death? Sh I mean, shameful death. No, no, my son. Especially now that it's obvious that he will fail and die in the forest. I mean, if you can look at all of us with the flogging we took from the royal guards just to save him and forsake us for the same family that brutalized us. He then he deserved nothing other than hate yes. and rejection. Yes. Yes. This reason I failed to find. Hence I decided to keep quiet and face the consequences. I hope I am not making a fatal mistake. You are not. You are not making any mistake at all. Yes. You are not making any mistake. You are not making any mistake. <laughs> Love, life, and honor are in full. And I am a man of honor. I am a man of honor. And in the defense of love, life, and honor, I will continue with this mission, no matter the level of suffering and frustration you break my way. I will continue. I will save the princess and I must, I must marry her. Shame! Shame on you! Shame on you! <laughs> Good morning, my daughter. A terrible night cannot give birth to a good morning for a princess and a king, my father. Hmm. True, my daughter. But with hope, nothing is impossible in life. A mere human doing battle with spirits in their home ground is to me no basis for hope. With such a dehumanizing disease as epilepsy to free my body as it is. My brother, Chi Jindu is a man of honor. And in the absence of nothing to trust and hope on in this situation, it is a good man for the heart to trust and hope in him, no matter the odds against him. And remember, like I've always told you from the past. Never in the history of the world has evil ever triumphed over good indefinitely. Mother, <coughs> life and the world are very deep and mysterious. Only the gods who started this cruel game know how it will end. And such uncertainty is no consolation for my heart. The gods are wise, my daughter. Indeed they are, my father. If only they would prove it to me by taking away this epilepsy from my 
If only the... Gods of my destiny! Maybe you have seen the suffering I've undergone for the past few days in this forest, and you have released my God to me with some fruits too. Thank you, God of Koro! Thank you! How hungry or thirsty you may be in the evil forest, you must not eat any food or drink any water. They are all meant for the spirits, not mortals. The moment your mouth touches any of them, you will die and become a spirit. No! Days have passed already, and the health of my daughter has deteriorated to the extent that the noble heart of the king before you has become a permanent home for anxiety and fear. I ask you, is Chijindu still alive? Is there still hope? That is what I have brought this token for you to ask the gods. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Oluwa kone lu. Mbare aja ebe. Ho. Mboko ho. Aprume ho. Your Majesty, Obago has done his best. The gods are still silent. Shame on you, Obago. Mm. I am sure I am doomed, for no man stands before the gods and lie with their name as I have been doing recently. I will survive their awesome rocks. Yes, I know in no distant time it will be over. Barry, I am sorry. Gods of Ngudo, I am very sorry. Bagabe Banyale map of Tamuzuka.
Gato of a gun out! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Let the gods speak. Please. Look at the condition of my daughter and let the gods speak and tell us what to do to save her. She must not die. Let the gods speak. They cannot continue to remain silent in the face of the nightmare that faces my family. Please. Gods of Ungodo, there is no you without Ungodo or is there Ungodo without you. I know that I said I got the one and not put you up on my canama rebels. You could my apotasiana can wait your local car compano. Your Majesty, the gods are still silent. Eh? But why is one? So that can be possible. The ghosts have always been with us in times of need. Because this is my only child, the princess of Ungodo. Please speak now before hypothermia kills my only child. Oh, you have been a good one. You have been a good one. Please say something, please. Your Majesty, maybe it's time to allow her to go on her side. No! She cannot go on her side. Because if she does, I will lose her forever. Because she will not be allowed to have contact with anybody in Ngodo, including us, her parents. How can I, when if that happens, I will be forced to give up my throne. If in three years, when I will clock 20 years on it, I am not able to provide a male child to take over. Your Majesty. Even if your daughter stays here and dies, it's still the same thing. Maybe you consider giving up the throne and go on exile with her. So hey, how dare you? How dare you? Get out of my way. Let me cut this swine into pieces. I don't care what the gods will do. I don't even care. This foul mouth any joy they call their servant. Let me kill him. Please, 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 let me kill him. Please, 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 please,
turn around and see with your own eyes what is about to happen to the palace of Uru. You stop on the grasshopper. You think you have prevailed? Wrong. Fool. Neither will I. Neither will I. Shame on you. Shame. O se na bo nje afu o balotule. O se na bo nje afu o ko obuta. Go What did you say, wise one? Is he still alive? I seriously doubt so. Spiritually, I have gone through the lens and bridge 
of this of the evil forest. All I saw was blood everywhere and no sign of him at all. That blood must be that of Shejendo because spirits do not bleed. Shejendo is the only human being in that evil forest recently. He has been killed by the spirit. Most certainly, yes. You are all free. You may and it's a wife for you see your wicked people. I found just sit them. Finally getting close. Finally. Yes. yes. But, but your problems, problems in this forest are not at all close to being over. What, what you seek is across the fire before you. But, but in order, order to get to it, we will have to walk through the fire. For the fire belongs to the spirits of the fire. Tell me. Don't you ever, ever Get tired of lying and scaremongering. Don't you ever! <sighs> Does this still look like lying and scaremongering? In the name of whatever is dear to you, whoever you are that is behind this fire, please, please, Make way for me to pass. I am on a noble mission. A mission to save an innocent life. I must pass. You cannot stop me. You cannot. You have already been stopped. Because I don't see you going into the fire. And I'm getting burned there. That is what going further means for you, children. Give up. It's all over. No! However you look at it. No! Today is the last day for the and you are already behind schedule. Your quest to Islam. She will die, children. She will die. Go back home. No! No! I will never give up! Time for talking this over, children. It's time for action. Walk through the fire. Or turn back and go home. No matter what you see, feel, hear, or encounter in the evil forest, you must not take a step back.
you have successfully passed all my tests. Now let's see how you fare with Ebele, the one dressed evil mother of the night. Justice always prevails! I am on the side of justice! Saving the life of my only child, I still keep him my family intact. I keep him the throne the ancestors have handed down to me. But I have made my choice. My family is more important than all the kingdoms of the whole world. Lolo. Chijindu is still. Chijindu or no Chijindu. more important. This girl has suffered enough, Lord of I cannot keep waiting here and watch her suffer more than me.
Ebele, the one-breasted mother of the night, and the supreme guardian of the golden egg. You were welcome to the village square of the spirits of the evil forest. You came for the golden egg. I know why you need the golden egg. But I guess you know what it means. And I guess you know what you must do if you want to take it away. Don't you? Princess of the Kingdom is dying. And the man you want to battle with has had mega food and no water for the past six days. Staying alive is a serious business. And saving a fading life is even a more serious one. You must wrestle with me or go back without a golden egg. Your Majesty, for almost half an hour, we came in here. You have said nothing to us. Please talk to us. Why did you summon us to an emergency cabinet meeting, Your Majesty? <clears throat> oh no, Your Majesty, the chair from God. It is time. Your Majesty, time for what? Hmm. There always comes a time in a man's life when he has to decide which part to take in any given situation. Whether the part of hopeless optimism or that of reality. Choose between others or himself. Family or community. And ultimately, life or death. The time has come for me. Of recent, the crown of my ancestors, which you and the gods of Ungodo have placed on my head, have become such a heavy burden that my body and mind have been strained. Royalty has lost its nobility and candor to me. And so, for me to continue on this throne is to mock myself. No king should live in self-mockery. Or the throne upon which he sits will lose its true essence. 
I summoned you therefore to inform you that in order to protect the dignity of the throne of Mgodo and my pride as a man and most importantly the life of my only child I have decided to give up the people's crown uh, no. and proceed on exile with my wife and humiliated daughter no, please, Your Majesty, please don't do this. It's a rare no, no, sacrilege. Please, Your no, 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 Majesty, please. No, 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 no. Six. She don't know. One more to go. And from what I'm saying, you have no more strength to carry on. Mm. Forget about the golden egg and the princess. If you challenge me for the seventh time and lose, I shall eat your flesh and bones. Go back home and be useful. You're right. I will go. Because I have no strength to continue. I didn't come here to die. <coughs> I didn't come here to die. I came here to save a life. But before I go, permit me. Please, permit me. To entertain you with my flute. Permit me to a great tribute with my flute to your wrestling prowess. Please. Oh, Chijindo. If that is what you want, go ahead. Entertain the warm-breasted mother of the night and the supreme guardian of the good. Go ahead. Wake up. Emily, wake up and fight me. Emily, wake up and wrestle me. Wake up. Yes, wake up. Because I'd rather end up as food in your mouth than go without that golden egg. Wake up. Emily, wake up and wrestle Chichi. Yes, I'd rather die here than go home to bury my princess. Wrestle me. Wake up. Wake up. Wrestle me. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, no, please, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, 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 please, no, 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 I have 
have returned! I have returned! Your queen, your majesty, my queen, DJ, I have returned. Your high priest, I have returned. This is the golden egg required to save our princess. Princess, my princess, my love, wake up. I have returned with the golden egg, my princess. My princess, I know you are asleep. Wake up. She's uh, asleep, right? Uh, children. My princess. I can say congratulations, but you returned very late. As you can see, the princess of Ngodo has already joined her ancestors. <laughs> no. 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 No, you're joking. My princess. She can't. My princess. My love. My love. Come back. My love, please say something. My princess. My princess. My princess, please say something. Say something to me, please. Please. Please, my princess. Please, I did not endure six days and six nights without food, sleep and water in the evil forest to come back and beat you dead, my princess. No, I did not. Please, I did not walk through blazing fire and wrestle against the belly and prevail to come back and bury you. I came back to save you and marry you, my princess. My princess, please. Please, please say something. Please, tell me this is a joke. Just smile. Please, I endure all of this just for your smile. Smile for me, please, my princess. Please! Please! Please say something, my princess, please! My princess, please, it's me, it's me, it's Chijindu. It's Chijindu, it's your love. It's me. I'm back to save you, my princess. My princess! My princess! My princess! My love! Chijindu, it's my okay. love, no! It's okay. <laughs> We have done our best as humans. But the gods, in their own wisdom, have done what they believe is the best. Jijin, pull yourself. Pull yourself together, please. Give way. Give way to the river of kings where royals of Ngodo reunite with their ancestors at the end. Yeah, at least a job. Hold yourself. <laughs> yes. Please, 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 wise one, Your Majesty. Please, I want to make one final request. May I, may I play the dirge for my love with my flute before she's committed to mother and one last thing.
My princess! My lord! My lord! My lord! My lord! She's alive! Go to her ancestors! My princess! Cause of our ancestors! My princess! My princess! My princess! My princess! My princess! Thank you! Thank you, cause of our ancestors! Thank you! She's alive! Yeah, good. That one! Yes, yes, For my daughter to be alive. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> you have truly proven yourself to be a man. Yes. Mm. you are truly a brave man. A very good man. Thank you very much for risking your life to save my daughter. What are we waiting for? Um, uh, your Majesty, items for the new woman is not here. Is that a uh, balance? Let me go at it. Okay. At once. Your Majesty. Oh man. Well, while we wait for the chief priest to come with the items, I think the groom and the bride need to go and refresh yes. themselves yes. and then come back to us. Yeah. So that they can show themselves as true royal. Yes, Your Majesty. Right. <laughs> Please go. No,
see your mouth. That's my son's clothes. What are you doing with it? I'm going to ask you to speak. Two vicious killers in our bedroom have him. And if you want to see him alive again, do whatever we say henceforth. Do me. You see, Oma. I don't know what else both of you want me to do. But if you must know, all of us are still alive here today because I played smart at the palace and got the wedding delayed. How long more such pranks can continue to keep us alive? That's why I lied at the palace and got myself back here home. So, kidnapping or threatening my son's life is not going to solve the problem at hand. Ndume, Isioma, we need spiritual help. And I suggest we move to meet Okoch immediately. Okoch is dead as we speak. And from the look of this, he was struck by the gods. Hey! Oh, God. Dead? You come. You do me. I warned against this. It's your mother's time. Irrelevant question. Eh? Irrelevant question. If it is because, stop them. Or your son will die before all of us. If you do not complain, our lineage will join. So what, what, what do you want? What do you want? Good question. Stop every marriage plan between Chichen and President Sergio Gong. That's all. Mm -hmm. I can see. Obviously, both of you have it already planned. Discuss it, but then where is your son? <laughs> to avoid suspicion, he has gone to be with his supposed twin brother in his moment of trial. I ask all that will be involved in what is about to take place. Are we all ready? My Lolo and I are ready. I am ready. So am I. My wife and I are ready. And so are we. Hmm. And so are the gods, Iwe. My Lolo and I give our approval. My wife and I also give our approval. We also give our approval. Mm. Wise one, tradition has been observed and completed. People are waiting at the village square to meet the new royal couple. Mm. So over to you. <laughs> No Colombia now walk for no one, young Cunillo, if you go to Nangede, the Panunco Macaulay, I am eh? Hm? Ah, 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 the wedding cannot go on. Hey! Hey! What? Why? Why, wise one? You are not an indigenous of Ngodo. The mark on your chest. 
the ghost just revealed to me that this mark is used to identify outcasts in a distant land. No. Chijendo, you are no su. No. Ibo su. Not possible, wise man. Ibo. I never have one. No. Wise one. It can't be. Father, do you hear him? It's not possible. Say something. Mother! You may speak. Your Majesty. People of God. Of the truth. Chijindu is not our biological son. What? He's a child I picked in the forest. Moments before my wife delivered Ujindu. In the same forest. We lied to keep and bring him up in dignity when we decided to keep him. We, 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 are, sorry. Sorry. we are sorry. As for him not being of his kingdom and being an Osu, we have never known that. Yes. Till now, every effort we made to find out where he is from could not succeed because the gods refused to tell us. Yes. That's true. We are sorry. Father, mother, I, I cannot be an Osuna. What? This is my twin brother, Ojindu. Say something. Talk to them now, Ojindu. Tell them. Father, what? I brought more, so how can I be an Osuna? We take you by your words and we'll forgive you also. Your Majesty. Our people do not punish a man who acted in ignorance. That is true, Your Majesty. Especially when the person acted in defense of a life, as in this case with you now. But for the Osu stranger, I hereby ostracize you in Ngodo Kingdom. You are also forbidden from eating or drinking in our land. You will never step out of this kingdom until the day you die of hunger and thirst. Yes, you are obviously cursed. And it is that curse that made my daughter, my family and my kingdom go through so much pains and tears in recent times even to the extent of separating us from our girls and for that you deserve to die and miserably too i so decree
Your blessings may be complete. Please. Please let me come. Oh, Jindu. Oh, Jindu, my dream brother. Oh, Jindu. Have you forgotten all the love that we've shared? Have you forgotten the love we've shared all these years? Is there anything strong enough to break it so sharply? Oh, Jindu, one them. Oh, Jindu. I know no other family than this. I don't know any other family but this one. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah. Leave. Leave. Please. I said leave. Leave. Please. 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 First cousin, eh? don't forget, don't forget how I helped you when you lost your parents. HK, 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 because, HK, because don't send me away. I have no other place to go to. HK, HK is me. Okwamua, eh? it's Chijindu, your cousin. Please, my father has sent me away. My mother has denied me. Even though Jindu, my twin brother, HK, please, don't shoot. Please. I don't have any place to go to. Don't, don't forget how I helped you. Educate. 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 Please. Please. If you chase me, I don't have any other place to go to. Leave my compound. Ojindu has chased me. My father has chased me. My mother. Please. Educate. Don't go on it. Go on. Educate. 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 Educate.
Hey, what are you doing here? Get out of my house. Oh no, please, 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 please help me. Get out of my house. Oh no, please help me, please. I'm on the ground. Get out of my house. Go out of my house. Please. I beg you. I beg you. Please. Go out of my house. Get out of the house. I don't have anywhere to go to. No, really. You don't have anywhere to go. I will help you. No, no. No, please. Please. But what? The next time I come, I go again. I'll get the machete and come over here. Don't eat for the machete. Go before I come over. Oh guys, you are gone. What's the meaning of this? I will not eat, drink, or stay under any roof in this palace till I die. And why would you do a thing like that? Solidarity. Meaning what exactly? Meaning I am a virtuous princess, father, not an animal without a soul. I have a heart. And that young, suffering man that you rejected and forced to roam the kingdom as a vagabond has earned a place in it. If my father sees nothing wrong in that emotional decree he issued, I do. And for that in solidarity, I will not eat, drink or stay under any roof in this palace until he reverses that decree. With my honor as a princess, I swear by it. Are you out of your mind? Would you go? Are you doing all this for an ordinary Osu? An extraordinary person. Father, extraordinary because when all the so-called feebles, even our own relatives, refused to act to save me, he risked his life. He volunteered to save me. And with the revelation about him, it's so obvious that the danger he saved you from was brought upon us deliberately by him. He is a villain, not a hero. How, mother? How? We were told he was cast away as a newborn child. How can a child at that age know who or what he is? Especially after being adopted by a couple who lied to him that he's their own child. If my father could understand what they did and spared them, why not extend the same to him? Why cast him away? Why sentence him to a slow and painful death? Ojuko, he is an Osu. Yes, and so what, father? Should he now be killed because he's an Osu? Must he be killed for so being? Must what he has done to save me and the place he has ended in my heart be forgotten so suddenly? Where is our sense of justice in all of this? I was so like him, killed my grandfather while sitting on his throne. And it happened before me too. What? Yes, the murderous beast did it. Because the king refused the marriage to one of his daughters in line with our tradition. And because even the daughter that is in quest that we are talking about did not even agree to marry him in the first instance. And so he did that kind of abominable thing to her father. It was later discovered that he did that because it was a, a, an obvious conspiracy by the Osus and the land at that time. But still, the dying king issued a decree that any Osu found in the kingdom should be killed. And any other person found associating with them will be driven out of the kingdom forever will be banished you see my dear that he is still alive now is because just like you your father is a noble king and not an animal without a soul despite having good reasons to, i did not order him to be killed instantly 
because I did not forget that you are still alive is because of the sacrifices that you made. Why, why not reverse the decree? That is the case. I can reverse mine and live with the damage that it would do to my reputation. But that of my grandfather will require 70 virgins buried alive. Jugo, what are you doing outside at this time of the night? You should be in your chambers. I know, I understand it is late into the night for a princess to be outside her chambers. But with what I hear, it is difficult for me to stay inside. Well, you met us outside also. We're not able to sleep. Do something about it. What would you want me to do? Have 70 innocent virgins buried alive just to save him? Now, if your conscience is finding it difficult to deal with what is happening to you now, tell me, will it ever rest? If I have to order the mass murder of innocent people just to save him? Remember, my daughter, whether I do it or not, him being an Usu, you will still not be able to marry him. Never. My princess, my virtuous princess, please help me, please, I need you, please, please save me, I have nowhere to go to. I have nowhere to go. I don't know what to do. I need you now more than ever. Please. Princess, please save me. Please. My princess, 
If you have any human sympathy in you, please help me out of this. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. Princess, please. The man I grew up knowing and loving as my mother, the man I grew up knowing as my father, the young man I grew up loving and sharing everything with as my twin brother, they all drove me away with huge weapons. They rejected me and so did every other soul in this kingdom. Believe me, I, I tried twice, twice I tried to leave this kingdom and twice the royal guards prevented me from leaving on your orders, O oh King. I had no other choice than to come here and cry to the princess. Perhaps, perhaps my tears will unlock the memory to this shocking revelation locked up in your heart. Perhaps my tears will soften the heart of the king and the queen towards a poor suffering victim of circumstance like me perhaps it will carry the love I have for the princess in my heart to her own heart and enough enough waste your time no more because it will never happen never not because we are ungrateful or have forgotten your sacrifices for me but because the cost of saving you is so huge and bloody and we cannot bring ourselves to paying it Chichindu, I'm sorry. My parents are sorry too. My princess, I do not need your apology. And oh, and, your head are loyals to no lie, Godo. She has told you no lie. Bago, ensure that he's thrown far away okay. from here, okay. no, never to return to this palace again. Okay. Yes, Thank you, Your Majesty. Please have mercy on me. Take my queen, away. my princess, my princess. My princess, please. Take him away. My princess, please, please. Shh. It's me, Jinju. Shh. Start going. My princess. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. My princess, my king. as Chijindu is still alive. What we have done amounts to prison the snake and not killing it all ago. The snake is still alive and dangerous to our very existence. Yes. He is 
a survivor with a winner destiny. Yes. I mean, how can you possibly explain that twice yesterday I tried to kill him with my poison arrow and twice I failed? How would a trained hunter who could shoot a tiny bear in motion miss a really huge man such as Chidi do? Huh? Twice? In a very close distance. How? Since the very assassins we used to kidnap in such a place. But they returned and said they could not do it because they mysteriously go blind each time they go close to him. Let me ask. I hope you are not sending those devilish assassins after my son again because if you do, they will not come back alive to tell you what happened. If you must know, I have four better trained men in their trade now guarding my son and always from hiding. I did that to safeguard my own from your evil hands. Babako, we are not planning anything against you or your son again. But with God so we can put our heads together and find a solution to this existential threat to our lives. Ndiume, Isioma, Ojindo, if the three of you still value your lives, don't ever come near to me again. Don't! I love you. Do me. Oh, Joka, Joka, Joka. Okay.
Put it down. Put it, put it down. Put it down. Oh, put it, put it down. Put it, put it down. Ah, <laughs>
children though. You're still alive. I had to I had to pretend that that I was dead <coughs> so that the guards would give me the space to do what I'm about to do now. What you're about to do? <coughs> I knew that somebody would come along before I actually died. But I didn't know that it would be someone so close to my love, the princess of the wicked people. It doesn't matter because I'll be dead soon. Take this is the object that brought down the rain in the Hamatan season and warned me your heart as an everlasting treasure. It brought down a powerful evil spirit in the evil forest and enabled me to retrieve the golden egg that was required to save your life. Most importantly, it helped to restore your life when you lost it and all hope was lost. It is an important gift from my destiny. And as it stands, it is the only thing <coughs> it is it is the only thing I possess as a human being. Take and keep it as an inheritance from me. May it always remind you of the true brave love which tradition and no fault of mine murdered and denied you from enjoying. Good luck, my princess. <coughs> Good luck, my love. And always remember that I died loving and wishing you well. Take this, Ochama, please. Princess, with these words, please do not miss a message. Do not miss a word from this message. Please do this for an innocent dying man, and the God of Ukodo will bless you abundantly. Please, Ochaba, please. to by anyone.
what has it restored your life when you lost it and all hope was gone from enjoying. Good luck and always remember that I died loving and wishing you well. to you is this plate as he lay dying on the road to the street which is digital. Go now to my mother. Tell her that I have decided to end my refusal of food and water that I did for Chijindu in the last five days. I want to eat immediately and I want it in my chambers.
Alus. Figure Alum. Alum. Abomination. Igwe. Let him be. Let him be. Igwe. Your Majesty. Are you not okay, KK the Panwine Tapa? I am Igwe. What happened? Why are you running like the rat that the snake is coming for his neck? The princess. The princess again? What happened to my daughter, KK? From the top of Bantry, I saw Princess Oyuga and that Mutsu Chijendo oh, yeah? holding hands eh? heading towards our neighboring kingdom. Eh? That's not possible. Igwe. That's impossible at all. Chijendo is dead. Yes. And the princess is inside her chambers resting after eating. May the gods strike me dead here if I lie in Igwe. Oh, they will strike you dead if you lie. I saw them. I saw them. He was trying to elope with your daughter Igwe, the princess. Yeah. After contaminating her. Oh, shut up. Igwe. Listen to me, Okeke. If I find out that you are lying, I will personally severe your head from your neck. Guards! Your Highness, seize him. Igwe. I only came to pass in front of you. I only came to pass information to you. Let me go. Ah, your hands! You are stupid. You are dead, both of you. Now release OKK and follow him to wherever it is. He said he saw that beast with my daughter and bring them back alive to me. Alive or dead, he was. Go! Useless guards. Call yourselves guards. Leave him. I can't believe this. You! Go and get me the others. Now! Run! How can they call themselves guards? Right under their nose. Let me go! Leave me! Your Majesty! How dare you! How dare you defy my order! Enough! Enough, Father! If anyone deserves any kind of beating, it is me! Punish me and let him be! He has suffered enough for no apparent fault of his! You are talking to the king, my princess! He is not just the king, he is my father! All that has been happening to Chijindu is wrong! It is inhuman, it is evil! Ojugo! How does that justify what you've done to yourself and to your father's throne? How can you do something that condemns you to compose your life in exile because of an Osu? An Osu that endangered his life to save man when all the young men in the kingdom backed off in fear? Even you, Umdiche, standing here condemning what I did, you refused to allow your sons to help. If he did all he did to save my life, I owe it to him to do the same. You are my daughter, Ojo. A princess of this kingdom. And for that, you don't owe any Osu anything. I told you a few days ago when I refused water and drink that all I did, I did for my conscience. I did not do out of ignorance. I knew the consequences and that was why Shichindu and I decided to leave the kingdom instead of being forced into exile. Why did you send your guards to force us back here when you know in the end you will still banish us? Yeah, the verdict of the gods. My princess. Gods have decreed that you should not go on exile. You will be cleansed and be married to Ojindu today. God forbid, over my dead body, the gods chose a husband for me to marry. If it is not Chijindu, I will not marry anyone. Unfortunately, my princess, for defying your father's decree, the gods have decreed that Chijendo will be sacrificed at their shrine and his blood will be used to paint you a 
as a cleansing ritual. My father. No, 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 no silence. Your majesty, this must happen before nightfall today or there will be a deadly epidemic in the kingdom. Bago, your majesty. Father. The three of you that came with them, go with the chief priest and ensure that the verdict of the gods is carried out immediately. Your majesty, have mercy. Take it away. Please have mercy. Your majesty, please. Father. Your majesty, please don't do this. Please. Please. Your Majesty, please don't! Your Highness! Your Highness, please! Have mercy! I'm innocent! Your Majesty! Please! My princess, my love, my love, my heart, please save me. Please save a man who endured six days and six nights without food and water, who walked through fire, yes, through fire, and wrestled an evil spirit just to keep you alive. My love, please. I'm nothing but a victim of circumstance, an innocent victim of circumstance. Please, would you go, my love? Please save me. Okay, think about it. Think. How can. How can killing an innocent man in whose heart your love lies and beating you with his blood cleanse you? How? Physically, spiritually, it's impossible. Instead, it will stain you. It will stain your conscience, my love. It will stain you. If you're okay with it, fine. But if you're not, don't let them kill me, please. Bring it. Bring it. Please. Stop. Have you said you? Touch him. I will kill someone here. I will strike you dead. Princess, come near me. Princess, what you doing? Take me! What's up, dog? Take me! For his sake! Hey. <laughs> what have you done? No! Why is one? Why is one? Why is one? Thank you, Your Majesty. My name is Ichie, then the Uno of the Uno Kingdom. Mm -hmm. The kingdom one week walking distance away from the others. <laughs> and here with me is Agaba, the chief guard of the people's palace and captain of our world. The gods of our kingdom send us to Ngodo Kingdom in search of a solution to a big and straight problem that befell the royal family of Rizzi. Your gods sent you to Ngodo Kingdom in search of a solution to the problem in your king's family. How? I mean, what manner of problem is it? Oh, exactly two weeks today, Your Majesty. Exactly two weeks today. Our king, his queen, and their children woke up deaf, dumb, and crippled. Uh -huh. The whole powerful Dibia in and around the kingdom tried their best. 
No uncle healed him. Finally, our God revealed to us that the only solution can only be found here in the golden kingdom. Precisely in this palace. In my palace? What did your God say the solution is? And why in my palace of all places in the whole world? Unfortunately, our gods are silent on that. But according to them, we will say it once we get to your palace. And when we do, we need no telling to recognize it. Now, you've been here for a few moments. Have you seen it? Good. It, it is either your gods lie to you, or you are lying against your gods to cover your real mission in the Godo Kingdom. Which, of course, I believe is to spy on us. Silence! You have to prove to me that I am wrong. Else. Majesty. Majesty. What is it? The unthinkable has happened, Your Majesty. What happened? Where's my princess? The princess is now with you. Huh? Hey! Yes, Your Majesty. I'm getting to the shrine. She allowed herself to be convinced by that, 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 that Osu boy, Your Majesty, to do whatever thing she must to save him. To our shock, Your Majesty, she chose to do that by condemning herself to the life and death of Osu case. For the rest of her life, Your Majesty, by running and handing herself over to Mbari, the gods of our ancestors, Your Majesty. Gods of my ancestors! Hey! What is really happening to me? Your Majesty, what happened? Eh? No, no. Ojugu has made herself a losu. Eh? eh? Because of that boy. No, no. Hey! Where is Obago, the chief priest? Your Majesty, Obago is no more. For a reason none of us could tell. He committed suicide the moment the princess made herself a losu. Huh? I did it for justice, fair play, love, and the dignity of man. On the advice of Chijindu, I decided not to run. We have chosen not to run again as cowards, but to submit ourselves to you. Forgive us both by sparing our lives, or let us die together if you choose to kill us. Come, my love. Let us give them the pleasure of completing the injustice they started and forever battle with guilt in their conscience. Bago, you had that boy. Yes, Your Majesty. Not on your life. Wait, wait. Sorry to interrupt, Your Majesty. Did she? The young man is the mark on your chest is calm. It is not a scar. It is a mark that was given to me by my biological parents at birth. They say it is a mark that is given to us people in a distant land that none of us know. It is because of this same mark that I'm about to be killed. How old are you? I do not see how the answer to that question can change my dilemma, stranger. But if you insist, I am 27 years old. Oh, Agaba. Hey! <laughs> hey! Oh, Your Highness. Yes. May I just be long? What in the name of common sense is going on here? What's this? What, what is going on here? Huh? Your Majesty, the mark on his chest is not the mark of Osu people as you want. It is a mark of royalty in the whole kingdom. What? Yes. 
27 years ago, a terrible thing happened in our kingdom. Our king, the chief guard, my father, who was a former honor, and the chief servant of the gods, were attacked at the shrine of the god of royalty. They were there to dedicate the king's first son, give him the mark of kings on his chest, and then name him as our tradition. According to the badly injured chief guard who lived long enough to tell our people what happened just as the chief priest finished giving the mark of royalty on the prince who is just a few hours old, strange warriors attacked and killed the king, my father and the chief priest and injured the guard so badly before he managed to escape. Miraculously according to him, the god snapped up the baby prince as soon as the evil killers arrived. He was never seen again since then. Sacrifice after sacrifice, play after play by our people to the gods. Only God does one answer from them. And that was, we should go ahead and crown the king's younger brother as our king. And forget about the missing things. Only his destiny will find him. And the day he returns to the world, justice shall triumph over treachery, good over evil, freedom over slavery, and equality over discrimination they see. Onowu Udenu of Umporu Kingdom. Mbari, the chief god of Ungodo Kingdom, has revealed to me that the solution your god spoke about is Chijindu here. He is indeed your missing prince. Yes, your god took him from the royal shrine that day and brought him to where Untume found him in our forest. Yes, every decision taken about him from that day on, including the recent event in his life and in our kingdom, he is spiritually influenced by the gods and his destiny with a single aim to preserve, nurture, and return him to the land of his birth, to mount on the throne of his fathers in due time. And that due time has come. Yes, the man who currently occupies your throne got it through blood. He was the one that hired the assassins that murdered the former Igwe and others so as to take his throne. Mm. The guard that survived the attack and died a few days later did so because he instructed the assassins not to kill him instantly as they did the others. 
so that there will be somebody alive to say what happened and put to an end the matter quick enough before your people result in consulting the oracles to find out what happened and why. The rescue of the prince by the gods was a twist he never expected and has troubled him over the years. All the same, when you return to your kingdom, the gods will complete what they've started and when they do, you will know that indeed the gods are wise. Indeed they are wise. They are wise. Indeed they are wise. If what you told us earlier that the gods revealed to you about the sins of these wicked souls and your late father, it's obvious then that they do not deserve to live amongst us anymore. Did the gods tell you what we should do to them? Yeah, Your Majesty, if I may, um, please, I plead on their behalf, please, despite their evil deeds, it will be very unfair for me not to acknowledge that I am alive and I'm here today with you because of them. And as the chief priest said, their actions were allowed to happen by the gods so as to enable us... Prince. Chijindu, your sentiments have been noted by the gods. Gratitude is a virtue of the noble. You have shown your noble nature by pleading for them. But many of the abominations they committed had nothing to do with the influence of the gods of your land. Therefore, their fate have been decided by our gods. And what have the gods decided, wise one? They shall be hanged in the forest of the dead today. In fact, what about the princess? Is there still any redemption for her? If you are ready to procure 70 virgins and bury them alive today, Your Majesty, yes. But if not, she must leave this kingdom, or she shall be executed. She... You are pregnant with a son. Your Majesty, the wise gods have opened your womb again, and you shall have many more children after this. and get them out of this place. I said take your hands off. Baby. I said take your hands off. Sorry, stop. Take your hands off. Let me do it. them to the evil forest. They shall be meat to the beasts of the forest. 
for the earth has rejected them. So said the gods. The gods are wise. Once again, you are welcome back to Nkoro, the land of your birth. May the gods that preserved and brought you back to us bless and protect you. Great Prince of Mboro, Onowu and Indiche greet you, as required by our royal tradition. We are to kick start our royal procession from the royal guest house to the people's palace, which marks the formal commencement of your coronation. Present yourself, what the Prince, that we may proceed. I greet you, grey hairs of Amboro Kingdom. We greet, greet you, you too. too. If your highness pleases, let us proceed. Wait. According to you, Liche, a prince who is married or engaged to a maiden to be married must, as a matter of tradition, embark on this procession with his wife or his betrothed maiden, as the case may be. That, that is, is correct. That is true. Being already engaged myself, I insist on embarking on this procession with the maiden that I have chosen to be my queen. Are you engaged? Less than 24 hours in Nkoro. Which noble family is she from in this kingdom? <laughs> she is not only of noble birth, she is also of a royal heritage. Really? I hope what I'm thinking is not what my prince meant. <laughs> I do not know what you are thinking, or no, who they know. I don't. But we need not talk more of it, because she's already here. My love, come. Not in this land, my prince. Somebody like the maiden by her side cannot marry you. She is totally forbidden from ever stepping into the people's palace or closely associating with royals like you and every titled man in this kingdom. What are you talking about? The maiden before us is Anosu. Aro! Anosu? With the crown prince Wait, so under the same the roof? roof? Calm down. Calm down, DJ. Calm down. Okay? This is a peculiar case. And... Send her away! Now! 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 now. now. She is a taboo. She is not a taboo. Oh no, Odin. She is not. She is the love of my life. You, you of all people, know exactly what happened. You know. She is a virtuous princess. She made herself what she is today. And what you all are rejecting her for, for my sake. 
Now help me tell everyone here that I am alive and with you today because of this woman here. Her people rejected her. And her people you have said her. it all, my prince. You have nothing to explain again. Her people rejected her. Why? Because she is Osu. The same customs and tradition that made her a vagabond. She is not a vagabond. She is not. She has a home. Her home is wherever I live. Her home is in my heart. And no one, no position, no tradition can ever change that for as long as I live. Therefore, I will proceed to the palace to start the process of mounting the throne of my fathers with her or reject it without her. The choice is clear. Accept her and I will be your king. Reject her and I will reject your throne. Haru. Wise one, the prince of an Oro kingdom greets you. Give me the pot. Agaba was right when he told you to immediately return the sacred rare pot back to the gods. If it had stayed in that compound till nightfall, the maiden with you would have been struck by the curable disease. Wise one, I did not only come here to return the pots to the gods, I also came to explain to you and also to them how... Silence, my prince. There's nothing to explain here. The gods know everything. The pot I just returned to the gods who released it to us this morning for the suspended procession. Having gone round your head, you are already the crown prince of the world. Being so, mounting the throne is no longer a matter of choice for you. You must do it or leave the kingdom immediately on self-exile. Wise one. I am not rejecting the throne of Mboro Kingdom. I am only insisting that what I want should be... The, the tradition that disqualifies Anosu from anything royalty in this kingdom dates back to the very beginning of this very kingdom. Whatever she did for you, however strong you feel about her, no matter how long you insist, you can never change it. You will only end up destroying her if you keep insisting. How do you mean? If that maiden stays close to you till sunrise tomorrow, she will run mad for the rest of her life. And if in seven days' time from now, you have not ascended the throne, the pot will return, will come back and strike you dead. Wise one. 
Wise one. Wise one. I tried talking to him again, and he just disappeared. What? He disappeared? What, what are we going to do now? I don't, I don't want to run mad. And I do not want to die. Then let's take the only option available to us. What option is that? Let's live together. Let's live this kingdom together. Yes, we have both demonstrated that the love we share is stronger than anything in this world. Let's do it again. Let's go to a foreign land where no one knows us and start life afresh Stop. together. Stop! Please! How can I leave the throne of my ancestors and go to a strange foreign land with you? Love is more noble and precious than all the thrones in the world. Remember what we did together all in the name of love and solidarity? Remember what I did? I rejected my father's love and palace. I rejected my mother and my people. I became an also for you. Yes. For your sake. Yes, and I rejected the people I loved. I stayed hungry and thirsty for six days and six nights. All for you. I walked into blazing fire. And I fought a deadly spirit. All for you. But this... This is a different situation. How? I am my people's king in waiting. The very throne in question is the reason the gods of my people took me, protected me, and returned me to this land. How can I reject that same throne? How? Because that is the only way, the only way to prove to me that you did all you did for love and honor. What do you mean by that? I was a princess who being married to would have made you a virtual king in my kingdom and you were a nobody. Now I am an Osu, a societal reject and you a crown prince. Repeat those brave deeds for the princess of Ngudu if it was truly for love and honor and not for the riches, power and prestige of who she was in her father's kingdom. I have become an Osu for your sake, Chijindu. Become an ordinary man in a foreign land for my sake. What is it? 
Cik 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 Where am I going? Where am I going? Who am I running to? Do I even know the way back to my father's house? Assuming that I will still be accepted there, do I know the way back? Gods of my ancestors, what is happening to me? What have I done to myself? What? Give him a love! Bring him here. Please. Bring him. Leave him alone! I said leave him alone! Please! Please save me, princess! Save me! Save me! Leave him alone! Please! Do anything to save me! Save me! Please! Please save me, my princess! My love! My love! My heart! Please save me! Please! Save a man who endured six days and six nights without food and water! Who walked through fire! Yes! Through fire! And wrestled an evil spirit just to keep you alive! My love, please! I'm nothing but a victim of circumstance, an innocent victim of circumstance. Please, would you go, my love? Please save me. Okay, think about it. Think. How can, how, how can killing an innocent man in whose heart your love lies and beating you with his blood cleanse you? How? Physically, spiritually, it's impossible. Instead, it will stain you. It will stain your conscience, my love. It will stain. If you're okay with it, fine. If you're not, don't let them kill me, please! Bring it! Bring it. Please. Stop! I'm just saying, you! Touch him! I'll kill someone here! I will strike you dead! My princess, don't come near me! Chichindu, why? Why? What did I do? If you're responsible for all of this just to save him, gods of this land, why use me in such a cruel manner? Why? What did I do? You're said to be wise and just. Where is the wisdom and justice? In all of this, what did I do? Why?
What are you still doing here? And why are you disturbing our prince? Stand up and leave here! Get up! Gods of Mpuro Kingdom, after pushing me into all I have become recently, you have concluded it by turning me into a thief. Yes, a thief. Guess what I stole? Hmm? I stole this dagger from one of the palace guards that was dragging me out from the palace last night. <laughs> I am sure. You put the idea into my head just for one reason and one reason only so that I take my life and cease being the inconvenience I have become to you and the prince. <laughs> Isn't that what you always wanted from day one? Isn't it? Because it is obvious now you are laughing your heads off in amusement. <laughs> I am not here to beg or plead for anything. I have come to end it. I have come to give you the pleasure of watching me die! <laughs> Isn't it what you've always wanted? Yes! I hope you find my flesh and blood good enough for you to consume. Enjoy yourselves. <gasps> and you go! One. Give me that dagger. I want to end this right now. Give it to me! Wise one. Where is he? Don't come close to me. Do not dare come close to me. Give me that dagger or I will use anything here at my disposal to end this thing once and for all. Yeah. Don't touch me! It will not be necessary, my lord. I, I didn't expect to find you here, but I came here to give don't ever try it, my prince. The only thing that will stop me is death, wise one. I cannot ascend the throne dressed with the tears of an innocent maiden. I have decided to leave the world with her. <laughs> and why would you ever think of such? The same reason she left her own people and became angels. Love, honor, and solidarity. Unfortunately, she has complicated the situation by herself, my prince. By what she did. No one mocks the gods the way she did without receiving punishment. And I will! No! No! Silence! She is not dead. Those that swallowed her will vomit her when their purpose must have been fulfilled. And that purpose is you becoming the king of the world. This is black <laughs> The gods are in total control, my prince. They are in control of the entire affairs of man. Thought, speech, action, and destiny. The throne is back in the palace, and therefore, your coronation starts right away. Then Ojugo remains swallowed by the earth forever. Oh no. Let the coronation commence. Mpuro Kingdom Queen! Hey! Where's one? Here! Topazin! Here! Oh, God, they're gonna move.
Mano Toto Manevia Manaban. Tinha a cano o Toto. Mano, mas o que é que é? O que é que é que hoje o Ezra come carne? Olha o que é que é que hoje o Ezra come carne? Olha o que é que é que hoje o Ezra come carne? Mano Toto Manevia Manaban. Se I crown you today, the new Igwe, Chijindo, Ajuan. Bim bam, killing is a of Umboro Kingdom. Or a devil and a mama, Manototo, Manevivia, Manaban. You shall be victorious. Igwe, may you live long to see your children too. What in Kako, you were? Father Namado. Mbolo kendo mkwen! Hea! Kwa zon! Hea! Kwa kwa zon! Hea! Shall we proceed to see the people at the village square? They are really waiting to see their new way. Shall we? We cannot proceed. Close to me. Don't. Stay back. All of you. God of my existence. Hey. Take me. Take me. Take me. Please accept me. Hey. Take me. Please take me. Take me. Take me. Take Protect me! Please! Why did our gods allow such a calamity to befall us? Are they not aware that when the king becomes so soon, all his subjects have compulsorily become so too? What is our sin that they should? What was the last thing the gods told our people after the disappearance of the prince and the tragic death of the spirit? Our gods told us that only the prince's destiny will find him and that the day he will return to Mboro, justice shall triumph over treachery, good over evil, freedom over slavery, and equality over discrimination. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The gods are wise. All men are born free and equal. And today, the gods of Mboro have affirmed that in ways and indeed, equality has triumphed over discrimination. For today, by the decree of the gods, the Osu test has been abolished from the kingdom. Go home with your new king and the wife the gods have chosen for him and rejoice with them. Long live Uporo! Long, Long live the king! Igwe!
Bankoro, 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 Udume, Okene, Udume, Okene, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Bankoro, 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 Udume, Okene, Udume, Okene, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Onyo Mara. Bankoro, 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 Udume, Okene, Udume, Okene, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Onyo Mara, Uduya, Ya, Ya, Uduya, Onyo Mara, Uduya.